its own citizens on the street of Kiev. The official Twitter feed of Students for Liberty noted that the comments from Makobin and the group spokesman were just statements by individuals. Students for Liberty does not have an official stance on foreign policy. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Patrons at a local Boston sports club watched dumbfounded today as an unidentified man's personal trainer forced him to put on an embarrassing athletic spectacle for the entire gym. Like a machine, there you go. According to sources, the degrading little show went on for nearly 45 minutes, with the man reportedly being paraded around every section of the fitness establishment doing anything his trainer commanded. I wish I could turn around and concentrate on my workout, but I can't help but keep watching. He has to know how ridiculous he looks. Sources added that the whole spectacle was made even sadder by the personal trainer encouraging the man to, quote, push himself a little harder. It's like watching a f***ing trained seal. Okay, so when you stand like that, you want to feel pressure in your knees, like this, right here, okay? Okay, give it a shot. You root for him to tell the trainer that he's a human being with dignity and just walk away. But no, he keeps subjecting himself to this. All right. Let's have you get on your back and walk like a crab. Come on. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want right here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And against his better judgment, Mark has returned to the studio. You think this is against my better judgment? I don't know. You, you're coughing and hacking things up over there. You know, um, I'd be staying at home if I thought you could do this on your own. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'm sitting there, I listen, I'm like, oh, jeez. I got to be there. I have judgment so good that it will make up for whatever bad decisions Mark is. Uh... Brett Vinat here from the School Sucks Project, as well as has been the trend on Wednesday nights. We will, of course, take your calls about anything. You can go to schoolsucksproject.com to get more of that. We'll talk more about that when we get a chance. Coming up here tonight, 30 things. And I don't know how many of these 30 things we're going to get through. Uh, this is one of those self-help lists. 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We'll get into that. Plus, uh, Brett and I brought in the same show prep, which was also the number one piece of content at the moment on freetalklive.com. As you know, you can go to freetalklive.com. You can vote on the new numbered items that you'll see there on the front page. Those have been submitted by listeners like you. So you can, when you find something online that you think is interesting, you think we'll appreciate, you think our listeners will appreciate, you submit it to freetalklive.com through our system there, which is tied in with Reddit. So you do need a Reddit account and a Free Talk Live account. They're both free. You just tie the two together and it makes it easy to submit content from that point forward at freetalklive.com. So the number one story right now, as voted by you, all men in North Korea are now required to get Kim Jong-un haircuts. Well, they used to have to have the pompadours like Kim Jong-il. Do you remember this? I remember that, vaguely. And so now the Kim Jong-un flat top is in, right? As submitted. Required. Well, it's not exactly a flat top. We can get into the details on that here. But first, we're going to go to Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends. He's on Skype. Michael, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, man. Mark sounds like he's dying. I, I, I didn't twist his arm to come in tonight or anything no, like that. No, he tried to keep me out of here. I, it's all I want is really, uh, I want wit. I just love having a coughing man in the background throughout the show. <laughs> it is funny. I heard him cough in the background. So Could you? Of course. I'm do- yeah, God, I did. Is, I'm I doing mics indie- are going to pick it up, even though you mute yours. I, I'll, I'll use my indie- shortstop, too. We'll, we'll mute him on two mics, so we'll do our best. Well, here we could, t- we could kill two birds with one stone. What I'm calling about is I've started an Indiegogo campaign to help get Ben Stone, the bad Quaker, to Porkfest because he's been invited to speak and they haven't jumped to pay his expenses yet. And we figured, let's just raise the expenses to send him. So you can go to badquaker.com and there's a link to the Indiegogo campaign or you can go to the Freedom Fiends blog. There's a link to the Indiegogo campaign. Here's my suggestion. Send Mark home and take what you'd pay him and donate it to this this uh, Ben Stone thing today, <laughs> and I'll fill in for Mark for the day for free. 
because I'm feeling great, man. I can't stop talking. Well, first off, uh, I own this business uh, along with Ian, and so therefore <laughs> I get paid really nothing. Get paid. Yeah. How about I pay you? How about I'll donate ten dollars to this campaign if Mark goes home, whether I fill in or not. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not even going to talk uh, that much during the show. It's just that people want to, you know, be, you're calling and talking to me. I was going to say you've already talked more than everyone else so far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and right, it is hard for me not to talk. So there's that. But I am going to. Do- I'm trying to figure out where to donate uh, for this because I'm going to donate to to send Bad Quaker. My Michael, can you, for those who are unfamiliar, can you tell us a little more about Ben Stone? Excellent question. Yeah, man. He is uh, one of the, I hate to use the word great man of liberty, one of the great men of liberty, because he makes fun of the great man concept. And that's one of the great things that he brings to the liberty mission. He's been a big influence on me personally. He's kind of gotten me out of the, we must rattle our shapers and be angry. And just like mm. taking me to just post anarchist where I'm like, what? Obama did who? Who's president? Like, I don't even care anymore. And uh, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> and uh, he's just a great guy, man. He's a great guy with a great energy. And he recently was in the hospital. He nearly died. Mm. He had heart failure. He did, yeah. he in, he's back, and, though. Uh, he's back doing his show on a weekly basis. He's back. Yeah, he's not, he's not doing it on a daily basis. His health is getting better. But he's kind of bummed out. He's kind of like, uh, he might not like that I'm saying this, but I talk to the guy every day on the phone, and he's kind of like, Michael, I'm thinking of retiring from Liberty, and I got asked to speak at Porkfest, and I don't have money to do it. And I'm like, dude, if you retire, that's ridiculous. You're one of the greatest voices out there. So I'm doing this not only to raise money to actually send him there, but to encourage him. And we've got a whole bunch of perks. We got, let's see, $100, $25 donation, you get some bad Quaker buttons. $100 donation, you get some buttons and a sticker. $250, you get a T-shirt, button, and sticker. Now, I'm listed on this campaign as the cat herder and money changer, but I'm not taking any cut. But kind of as a joke, but kind of serious, uh, even though the goal is $2,000 and he can get there for $1,000, we have a package called the Big Kahuna, which is one is available, and it's $10,000. And uh, the, the, the prize you get is my RE20 microphone, which is a $600 value, signed by Ben and I. And not only does Ben go to Porkfest and get some money for medical expenses, uh, I go to Porkfest and my oh. wife goes to Porkfest. And the person who donates gets to Porkfest. So, That's yeah. pretty cool because like, you don't usually leave your basement. So to get you out at Porkfest <laughs> would be a major feat. Yeah, I yeah, can't see anybody. Uh, I, you know, Ten thousand dollars is a lot of money, but I would, I, I would love to see you at Porkfest. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't cost that much to get me to Porkfest. It's we're we're kind of tippling on the idea whether we can come up with it or not. It's kind of, it wouldn't bury us, but it would be like we wouldn't have a cent left for you know if the car broke down or anything like that or any expenses came up. So we're trying to figure out if we can do that this year, but we're definitely going to go next year for sure. DJ awesome, it's well, very exciting. And I have to say, I'm very intrigued by this campaign. Ben Stone, I've never heard the Bad Quaker. Really, uh, I haven't. Or I haven't oh, heard love it yet. This guy, he is so brilliant. He is probably uh, one of my most frequently requested guests. Really, and I just haven't you know made the connection with him yet. Somebody even tried to hook us up. Michael Dean is on that list of requested guests as well, mm-hmm. so we'll have to talk off the air sometime. Uh, but yeah, I will I'm, talk anywhere, anytime. On <laughs> he sure show, will. Man. Uh, but um, uh, Michael, thanks because I'm motivated. My speakers- my speaker's fee is $10, and you have to donate it to the Help Ben Stone Get to Porkfest Fund. Well, the fact that you're putting in this effort uh, intrigues me, and I will reach out to him, and maybe I can help uh, raise awareness if he if he can come on my show in the next month. I guess we still have a—what do we got? Three months till Porkfest? A little less? Yeah, three months. Yeah. When I, whenever I hear Ben Stone, uh, his website, by the way, is badquaker.com, and when you go there, there's a link. The first story there is a link to the Indiegogo fundraiser. Uh, but whenever I hear him on the air, he's just so knowledgeable. He seems like, uh, I mean, maybe he isn't really, but he makes it seem like he knows a lot of stuff about whatever it is he's talking about. He seems very well researched. And uh, I feel like I've, uh, I've I've always gained some sort of knowledge by listening to the guy. Yeah, that sounds great. I look forward to checking him out ASAP. All right, Michael yeah. Dean, what else you could got we, for could us? We add, could, we, could we add to the perk that if we get the big kahuna donation of 10000 Mark will get a Kim Jong-il haircut? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. Seriously? Oh, that's getting... all I got, man. That's Whatever all I got. Amazing. I'll do get any, if somebody gets if somebody pays ten thousand dollars to get Michael W. Dean and uh, and Bad Quaker to Porkfest, yes, I'll get whatever haircut you want. <laughs> all right, cool. That's pretty good. At, at Porkfest. Yeah, you got to add that to the list of the perks now. Okay, I will. 
We have it on record. Fantastic. Cool, man. That's Michael all I got. Dean, hey, while you're here, plug your new show. Oh, yeah. Michael Dean. Michael Dean After Dark. It's uh, <laughs> it's Mon- Michael Dean After Dark is uh, on LRN and GCN Monday through Friday, uh, midnight to 2 Central. That's 1 to 3 East Coast time. Yeah, it's fun, man. It's me and rotating Derek cast of, about is one 10 of your different co-hosts. co-hosts. Yeah, it's a lot of like radio stars like Derek J and Stephanie Murphy, but then it's also like some people who've never been on radio. And I'm basically doing this for fun because I'm up at that time anyway, but also uh, to like be the J school, the journalism school for the next batch of uh, Liberty Radio personalities. And it, it's the no, it's the uh, it's the show that would exist in Libpair. There's no tyranny. I'm, my rule, my rule, or my what I say about it is, Mike, Michael Dean After Dark is a game show where the loser is the person who brings up tyranny. Thanks for the call tonight, Michael. Appreciate hearing yep. from you. And you can catch that again tonight, at 1 a.m. on 1 a.m. Eastern on LRN.fm. Thanks, Michael. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We have to meet his co host on Freedom Fiends, Nima Vidati, at the Austin, Texas Bitcoin. Great interview, by the way. Great guy, too. More on the way here. You can take control. 30 things to stop doing. We'll get that list in tonight. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, Yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crisis. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Does this ever happen to you? Moments after you're introduced to someone, you forget his or her name. It's a common faux pas you'll want to avoid, especially if you're a job seeker. And even if you're not, here's a tip. As you are being introduced, and while you're still shaking hands, smiling, and making eye contact, say the person's name aloud. Not only does that make a deposit in your memory bank, it acknowledges the other person. And that is more than a nuance, as is maintaining eye contact. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter, rather than blending into the blah, 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 will help you connect better, no matter what the conversation. For more tips, Hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want right here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And that is the Pro XPN toll free line. Of course, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features that we share with you. Archives galore. You just click, you download, and they're yours for free. They go back all the way to 2006, late 2006. Download as many as you want on us at freetalklive.com. And we now have video archives of the show. It's kind of something that you've been doing, right, Brett, with uh, School Sucks? You've been videoing for quite a long time. Or do you archive your videos, or do you just... Oh, we have a YouTube live? channel, and yeah. uh, in, in the beginning, I thought just putting anything on YouTube was good. It takes a little more you know, work than that. So, Oh, I'm uh, putting almost no work into this. I'm just taking uh, the three-hour chunk of video from Free Talk Live and uploading it to YouTube. I think that is a fantastic idea, and I think you could find a whole new audience there. So, so far, we found dozens. The dozens of, of people. <laughs> dozens but of people. Dozens have a way of turning into millions. If we'd have been the first thing on YouTube, we'd be huge right now. Probably true. Well, the <laughs> other thing I found, too, is that I, w- I was really excited when I first just started putting anything on YouTube, and people would watch it, and mm-hmm. then it kind of... I know you have a limited amount of time to spend on it, but it became this uh, evolution where you know I, I would get to a certain point, and I would say, okay, now it needs to be more. Now there needs to be graphics. Now there needs to be clips. And, uh, yeah, it evolved Didn't from there. did you team up with Stefan Molyneux at some point to do some stuff? Uh, no. I was remembering that. No, it was uh, Think Twice News. That's right. Which was, uh, was John Jason Shaw Osborne. and Jason Osborne did some uh, video work for Steph. Um, okay, so one but, of the crew from School Sucks yes, Project. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so good luck to you yeah, on man. YouTube. Well, man. So we just started it a few weeks ago, uh, so therefore it only has about a month's worth of content on mm-hmm. there, so you don't get to go back very far at this point. But it's there, and every night there's a new full-length episode of Free Talk Live available there at youtube.freetalklive.com. That's a quick link that'll take you right to our YouTube channel, youtube.freetalklive.com. Feel free to share, download, edit, re-upload, whatever you want to do with it. So I want you to imagine to be able to spend bitcoins With a credit card through a completely decentralized non-bank system, you swipe and Bitcoin is removed from your wallet. It makes Bitcoin just as easy to use as money in the meat space world. And this technology would be pretty awesome if it can get the development that is necessary to get the word out and get people using this technology. Mark, you actually purchased one of these cards. Right. I mean, the development is there. It's really just the implementation, um, you know, on a wide scale. We've got to get the word out to businesses and explain the system to them. So there's some investing that could could happen here, and you can help out mybtc.cc and make this technology more of a reality if you think it's a cool idea, as I do. Go to their Indiegogo campaign. There, of course, are perks involved, mybtc.cc. You can go there and get one of these uh, Bitcoin credit cards for yourself, mybtc.cc. So we will get to the 30 things to stop doing to yourself. But first, uh, Brett, you've got the story about the latest from North Korea, which I just find to be fascinating, a fascinating place, much like a train wreck is fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Always doing something ridiculous and crazy over there. So what's the latest? Well, I mean, did you, you, you kind of maybe also found this story a little bit amusing. Perhaps. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think that's easy to and find. scary. As, yeah. Well, that's a good. I'm glad that you find it scary because yeah. <laughs> as a man with a full head of hair, same thing with Mark. <laughs> yeah. There isn't much to be scared of here. It's it's more amusing than scary. But for me, I'm always wearing my hat. I shave my head down. I'm losing my hair. I'm not capable of the Kim Jong-un hairstyle anymore. Is that what the hat's about? Yeah. Is well, I shave my head. Well, in the winter, you have to wear a hat because okay. it's cold here. In the summer, you have to wear a hat. So you don't get sunburn on your little face, you know, if you have no hair. So, yeah, right. He's got a hat instead of a toupee. 
Right. I see. Right. And I think that's fine. It's totally fine. And I've, you know, I've just said it to thousands of people, so right. I'm not hiding anything. No, obviously not. <laughs> so, but anyway, all I can do, uh, going bald on top and in the back, is the reverse Kim Jong-un, which is probably pretty subversive yeah, in North yeah. Korea. If I just grew it out on the sides and shaved it on the top, mm-hmm. if you're unfamiliar, he shaves the sides and grows out the top. That's so, correct. Uh, I would certainly be in a, a prison. The news is they're going to force everybody to get his haircut, all yeah. the males. Yes, exactly. So uh, the slug for this article, all uh, women will still be allowed to choose from a selection of state-sanctioned dues. Wow. Hair dues, yeah. Until now, everyone in North Korea had to choose their haircuts from a list of state-approved styles. But now, all men in the hermit kingdom will be required to sport the same hairstyle as Supreme Leader Kim jong Un. The BBC reports Pyongyang introduced the new law two weeks ago, but is now rolling it out across the country. Unfortunately, some North Koreans may not be thrilled about the new look. According to former Pyongyang resident now living in China, the Kim Jong Un cut is unpopular because it apparently resembles the style of Chinese smugglers. And that man is quoted. He says until the mid 2000s, we called It, the Chinese smuggler haircut, the source told the Korea Times. For now, Chinese smugglers have the same haircut. Uh huh. Yeah, apparently. You would think they would like diversify to cover their. It sounds ridiculous, is what it sounds like. Yeah. For now, it seems women will still be able to choose from one of several state approved styles. Though, if King Jong un is a Friends fan, he maybe he'll mandate all women get the Rachel. You never know. That's a reference to the television show Friends and Jennifer Aniston's trendy hairstyles. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. She did for In a the while 90s. there. It was uh, it was popular to have hairstyles like her. Yeah. She was kind of the hair queen of the 90s. In many ways. So, uh, yeah. So, apparently, do we know what the punishment is? However, for this, I don't see anything about that. No, in my that's story. that's where the article ends. But... Probably prison. Yeah, you're probably going to go to prison over that. Hmm. I don't. Some know. hard labor. It's possible in service of the state. You know, after I saw those wi- older those women that were sort of berating the the cops mm-hmm. in that video that was not too long ago, um, I, I kind of wonder, you know, maybe maybe you can get away with a certain level of civil, civil disobedience there. Okay, you're referring to the PBS special, which was done by oh gosh, I forget the name of the sub the program on PBS that did it, but they did a an undercover camera investigation into North Korea. There's a there are certain people who are given very small cameras to sort of carry around with them mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. daily life and record what actually transpires on the streets and in the real North Korea. And they put together about an hour-long documentary. I think it was uh, North Korea, something with the word state in the title. I'll have to go and look for that maybe during the, the, the break and see if I can find it because it was absolutely fascinating it was uh, amazing to get a look into North Korea that's outside of the official tour guide North Korea. When you go to this place, if you go to North Korea, you're given a very specific track. You may only go on this track and you are not to leave the track or you'll go to prison. Uh, so you stay on that track. And this is a way to get off that track. They have just average North Koreans recording video and then smuggling that video out to this person who is in South, who's based in South Korea, right. that puts the videos together. And I wonder if that PBS program was a, a re, done in response to Vice, where Vice went to North Korea, I think a couple, maybe two or three times. That's right. And they're getting a very obviously superficial look, and they know it, and they're reporting that this is superficial. And uh, I think it left people with a lot of curiosity about what it was really like there. It's called Secret State of North Korea. It is a frontline documentary, and if you simply Google PBS North Korea, it's the first option that comes up. It came out earlier this year. Cool. Very, very interesting stuff. And also about smuggling things into North Korea, like TV programs from South Korea, etc. We're on the way. You take control here on Free Talk Live. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. 
national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Free Talk Live. The only thing that separates government from the mafia is their cloak of legitimacy. The government is nothing more than an armed gang of violent people masquerading as though they're something else. Mm -hmm. They've got these uh, PR systems in place to make people think that there's something special about their armed gang to make them not realize that that's all they really are. They've got uniforms. They've got robes. They've got courtrooms. They've got this aura. They've got flags. They've got pledges of allegiance. They run the schools. They run the roads. They're everywhere. So you think that they're supposed to be there. They've been there since you've been born, so they must always have to be there. Well, that's not true. They're an organized gang of criminals. You know how I know they're criminals? Because they're using force on people, and that's wrong. It's just wrong to force people to do things. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin? Any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0308 It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasy.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control toll-free, 855-453, that is the Pro-XPN toll-free line, that's 855-450-3733, and join us online, just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you on the site. News updates, you can get signed up, follow the show via email, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, whatever is your preference, though, if you sign up for our email list, you're going to get something new that has only been going on for about a month now. It is the Free Talk Live Weekly Digest. Uh, we've got uh, some great folks putting together the Free Talk Live Weekly Digest, and it is essentially a summary of some of the most popular stories as voted and submitted by you to our website. So that North Korean haircut story where all males in North Korea are allegedly going to be forced to get 
the Kim Jong-un haircut, the number one story on our website right now. So odds are good that's going to show up in next week's Free Talk Live Weekly Digest. Mm -hmm. It already came out, uh, I think, earlier this week. So uh, it's a great way to kind of get a quick look at some of the activity that has been happening on the website over the past week. Plus, there's also a link in every one of these Weekly Digest emails to the Weekly Digest audio clip. And that is an, an audio file that our listener Benjamin Bartholomew is putting together. Basically, on a volunteer basis, he's accepting contributions for it, and he has those links on his uh, on his page. But you go there, uh, if you sign up over at news.freetalklive.com, you get the Free Talk Live Weekly Digest email, and there's a link in every one of those to the Weekly Digest audio file. So if you can't digest a full 21 hours of Free Talk Live talk radio content every single week, you can take it down to about 75 minutes and basically he picks out his favorite stuff of the entire week's shows, which is very cool. So you can get signed up for that by going to news.freetalklive.com. Plus, again, if you follow us on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, you'll get updates during the show. Um, Mark is posting on Hootsuite tonight, as a matter of fact. And so if, you've, uh, you know, if you want to comment on some of the news items we're talking about, maybe you, maybe you don't want to call in, you just want to comment online, you can do that on our uh, social bookmarking site. So go to news.freetalklive.com to get signed up there. Still to come here tonight, the 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We'll get into that list. Plus, if you value your online privacy, you need ProXPN. It's a global virtual private network that allows all of your online data to be encrypted before it gets to your internet service provider, meaning your ISP, which is right now likely snooping on you and logging every website you visit, logging every search term that you enter, you can stop that from happening by going to proxpn.com slash FTL, get their software. There, It's available for Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android uh, phones. So whether it's a phone or a laptop or your desktop, ProXPN will work for you. Uh, ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can use our discount code FTL20 and save 20% off the price of their premium account, which gives you unlimited bandwidth, plus no restrictions on what you can do. You can privately torrent with the ProXPN unlimited account, the premium account. And although I recommend if you're going to do private torrents, you connect to their Netherlands server because the Netherlands has the greatest privacy protections for that sort of thing. Uh, so ProXPN actually does have different server locations around the world, which means when you connect to the Netherlands server or the Singapore server or whichever server you choose, it'll make it look like you're in that location. So when you go to websites that think they know where you are, they have the little detector thing that can tell where you are. They Meet won't be able to singles in Keene, New Hampshire. Yeah, they won't be. Uh, they'll think you're in Singapore. So, or wherever it is you've selected. So that's another way that ProXPN protects your privacy. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Go there and get started right now. They've got a free account, but when you're ready to upgrade to premium, use code FTL20 to save that 20% for the lifetime of the account. And that brings the price down to $5 per month. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Let's go to the phones. Liberty Phoenix is on Skype tonight. Liberty Phoenix, you're on Free Talk Live calling from Illinois. Hey, guys, I'm hoping I can have a uh, much more creamier audio tonight than I did yesterday. <laughs> uh, sounding good so far. Go ahead. <laughs> so I just wanted to call and try and relate uh, this, my story about buying this new vehicle. Um, I, like I said, I don't know how much of the story you guys caught yesterday, but I'll start from the beginning. Not much. I, due to my own, <laughs> due to my own uh, irresponsibility, my vehicle died on me, and I had to purchase a new one. Well, the cheapest... <laughs> one that I could find and the quickest one was off of another of my technicians but the title was uh, a little a little skewed um, apparently it was all kinds of messed up the dealer signed it in the wrong place and he signed it in the wrong place and so I took it to the uh, currency exchange to try and figure out what I needed to do to get this vehicle in my name so that I could you know make an effort and make an attempt to play along with the state and she tells me, okay, you need to go get this filled out by the, this little piece of paper filled out by the person you bought it from and the dealer and this other person and bring it back and we'll be okay. And I said, all right, cool. So I go do that, um, bring it back to her and it's a different lady there. And she's like, no, we can't use this at all. Um, you're not going to be able to do this. So the state's not going to accept this. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go into the DMV and see what they say. That was a bad mistake. Going to the DMV as an anarchist is probably the worst. That's probably worse than waterboarding. <laughs> um, there were just so many people that were just so happy that the DMV would make it so easy for them and so quick and expedited of a process for them to be robbed and voluntarily robbed. And 
they the, the woman that I spoke to basically said that I have to that my best option was to go to the uh, the dealer which no longer exists anymore well I told her that much and she said <laughs> okay we'll find another one and just have them print you up a bill of sale she told me to commit fraud Odd. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's, that how, co- that's how messed up their system is. Because I, uh, there's, she said literally, there's no way that I can. Yeah, she literally said that there is no way that I can have this vehicle in my name legally, without jumping through all these hoops. And I was just like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just spend some time in jail. I'm not going to play with them anymore. I'm done with it. I'm not. I'm not going to even. What bother. do you mean I you're going to spend some time in jail? What do you, What do you What are you saying? Well, when I get caught, so I'm, I, I know what's about to happen. So hold on a second. So yeah, just to, just to clarify something, table, just, just to clarify, you uh, were intending to purchase the car from your coworker. Have you gotten a bill of sale from the coworker? Is it officially yours, or are you still just yes. kind of in the in just looking into it phase? No, I've already bought it. I paid him eight hundred bucks for it, and okay. he wrote me out a bill of sale. Great. So it's it's technically and yours. Fine. And now the only thing is you can't take the title and or the certificate of title and transfer that to your name. Correct. Now, that doesn't mean that Correct. it would be illegal for you to drive it around, does it? Well, it's not a registered vehicle in my name. It doesn't have legal plates. Mm. Um, you know, the, the tags are for, for a completely different vehicle. It can be. I will say this. And now um, that they have all these... Oh, I, I had an experience. I used to have a, a, a Volkswagen that was uh, 2001. And uh, in New Hampshire, we have something called an emissions test. And uh, German cars were notorious for having these problems with the, the computer that would fail them on emissions tests, especially once they got a little older. So I would stop getting inspection stickers. And uh, in the car turns out oh. to be a somewhat expensive place to do activism. <laughs> because if you get pulled over and they decide they're going to take the car and you decide that you eventually want it back, you know, you're talking anywhere from, I mean, hopefully it, doesn't, bucks. Yeah, and hopefully it doesn't happen on a Friday night when you're not going to be able to get it out of impound until Monday and then it's, you know, $300, $400. So I would say, and, and I know I'm not in this situation, I feel like I, have, I can have some sympathy for what you're dealing with based on my past experience. Um, I would try to resolve the issue up front if you want to drive the car uh, because, you know, it would be a shame to lose whatever you've invested in it uh, at this point, which is already $800. And a bunch of time. Yeah, Can you yeah. have the, the guy who used to own it get a new certificate of title that won't have a bunch of signatures on it? Usually there's some kind of process for that. Well, he said he doesn't have the title anymore, or he doesn't have his original bill of sale. Okay, I guess I don't know what the process is that you the have to The dealer's gone, Ian. I understand what you're saying. I, don't, I guess I don't know what the process... Like, if you have an old certificate of title, that's not good enough to show that to the state and say, hey, can you just give me a new one? There's some signatures on the wrong lines here. Pay the 25 bucks or whatever the no. the fee would be. You have to have the original bill of sale. No, the, uh, the guy doesn't have the original bill of sale anymore. Okay. All right. Well, uh, best of luck, uh, Liberty yeah. Phoenix. Sounds like you're Thanks, screwed. Guys. Thanks for the call. <laughs> 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And he's, you know, he got it from the coworker. I'm sure the guy doesn't want his car back at this point since it's a bit of a burden. You can take control of the airwaves here and tell your nightmare sales story if you would like. There's always problems with cars. More coming up. 30 things to stop doing to yourself on the way on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com 
Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No Hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. I'm Nick Soboleski, a SelectQuote agent with a true story of how SelectQuote goes to bat for you buying term life insurance. A while back, a man called me who had had prostate cancer. He asked if I could beat a very high quote another life insurance agent had given him. I said, let me see. Well, I took his pertinent information, then shopped the highly rated, price competitive companies we represent, and found one who pre-approved him for a premium way below what he had been quoted. When it comes to term life insurance, no other company touches select quotes, experience, and expertise in finding the right policy at the right price for almost anyone. How about you? For your free quote, call 1 800 945 1041. That's 1 800 945 1041. 1 800 945 1041. Or go to selectquote.com. We shop, you save. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. Toll free, 855 450 free. And we are down to just two hosts yeah. tonight. Uh, Mark has voluntarily decided to leave the show based on the fact that he is coughing quite a bit in yeah. the background. And it can be not only can be uh, distracting to the listener, but it can be a little distracting when you're in the studio as well. And it's sad. I want him to feel better, too. So He probably won't feel better just because he goes home. But, right. uh, you know, he really wanted to come in tonight because uh, it can be tough when you're a talk show host and you're used to giving your opinions on the radio, and then all of a sudden you are, you're taken out. Uh, it can be very, very difficult when Mark is making indicators in the background. I don't know what he wants. But uh, anyway, it can be difficult to not have that microphone in front of you. So I can understand why he wanted yeah. to come in. He gave it his best tonight. Yeah, when you're an opinionated talk show host, it's very difficult to sit at home and listen to other people's opinions. It's true. But the good news is he uh, has been doing a great job at hooting during the show, which yes. means posting simultaneously to Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I imagine he will be resuming that uh, when he gets back to his casa here in a short bit. So uh, we'll get, have him back as soon as we can, hopefully by the weekend, because I'm expected to not be here on Saturday night. I've got a fundraising event for the local homeless shelter that I attend on a yearly basis, uh, the Masquerade Ball. So 
If Mark's still sick by then, we might be asking you to come and do some fill-in work, Brett. I would love that. We'll keep that in mind. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You know, uh, we're going to talk about some self-improvement ideas here in a little bit. And Leader Amp can help you be a better leader. In fact, most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, the founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application to measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will also allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs. It'll help you see that they weren't perfect, but they overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's being built. But if you'd like to help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers' persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. You can feel free to pre-order over at their Indiegogo by going to leaderamp.freetalklive.com. That's a quick link that'll take you over to their Indiegogo campaign. Amp your leadership by going to leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Dot com. Mark says he signed up. I'm fascinated by it. It mm. sounds like it'll be very, very interesting. I mean, anything that can help people uh, be better at what they do, be better leaders, I think, especially in the liberty movement, uh, we do need we need more leadership in this movement. More yeah, leadership qualities, mm -hmm. right? Because there's, well, there's a difference between rulers and leaders, and, and leadership is very good. Uh, people often make the mistake out there of calling their rulers leaders. Oh, it's so frustrating. I see it in yeah. the news media all the time, and it drives me up the wall as though these politicians, these scumbag, thug politicians, are actually leaders. Yeah. I've heard them call Barack Obama. Have you heard about this guy? The leader of the free world. <laughs> There's all kinds of problems with that as far as I'm concerned. Right. Let's go yeah. to the phones. Blake is on the line here, and you're on Free Talk Live listening via the TuneIn app. Hey, Blake. Hey, how's it going, guys? What's on your mind tonight? Um, so I was watching a video yesterday um, on Adam Kokesh's channel. He was saying how he was going to run as an anarchist in 2020 and calling for the abolishment of the federal government. And I'm a libertarian. Like, trust me, I'm the deepest libertarian, but I was just curious. How like that would work? Even like, how would we? Would we have military? Like this is an interesting. Topic. Are you saying he's going to run for president as an anarchist? Yes. <laughs> and you're you you said you self-identify as a libertarian. Yes. All right. So what are your what are your chief concerns with um, Adams' platform of the uh, abolition of the federal government? Well, just how would that look? Like, it would just be up to the states. We wouldn't have a union. Would we have a flag? Like, what would what would go on there? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that it would, at first, once the federal government is either— the federal government is not going to be ab abolished, first of all, and I'm, I'm Even sure— Even if Adam yeah, Kokesh is elected. It, yeah, and I'm sure Adam Kokesh knows that, and there's, uh, you know, some, some marketing involved in, in what he's doing. Uh, the federal government is eventually going to collapse. And then, yes, I guess state governments would still exist, but a lot of state governments are really uh, on a welfare program where the federal government prints money and gives it to states so they don't go bankrupt. So if the federal government collapsed, um, which is the only possible way uh, that I think we'd see its demise— then you would start seeing states like I'm. I'm guessing California would probably be first. Michigan would, might be second. Those state governments would collapse as well because they can't get welfare from the federal government mm. anymore. Then we would start seeing, um, you know, an impotence in police, uh, state police, local police, um, the school system would collapse because that. Um, even though it's a tiny minority of funding that comes from the federal government, most of the bureaucracy and control is at the federal level. So, I mean, ultimately, get, getting rid of the federal government would cause uh, most state governments eventually, I think, to collapse because 
Um, what government is very good is turning uh, people and institutions into dependents, and it's done that pretty much with all 50 states to some degree. So you know, some states are tax negative states, meaning that they are putting more money into the sure. federal system than what they receive back from the federal government. Right. Uh, and some of them are more fiscally responsible than others. Like, I don't think New Hampshire would have as much of a problem, for instance, compared to, say, California You're absolutely or, right. or Michigan. So, Blake, you you said I, I asked you this a second time, and and I just want to clarify you. I identify as a libertarian. You're not particularly worried about like not having a national flag or a military, are you? I mean, I'm not worried about it. I, I would like to have a union, you know. A country. Why? I think it would be utter. I would be utter chaos if the federal government just was abolished. Well, wait a minute. Was it utter chaos after the Soviet Union collapsed? No, but I think that. Because of our dependency, like you were just saying, it would be so. It would just be such a drastic change. And I know that the citizens are the number one defense. We would build our own military, but I just thought it was interesting that we bash the federal government so much, and I understand that. But it's I'm just, not sure why well, uh, why not having a federal government around is seen as a bad thing. What is it that they're doing for you? Well, um. They would just act as, well, like you guys were just saying, a leader, but not a leader. They would be, you know, our, I guess they would just keep everything together. We would be bound together. What does to that a, mean, they keep everything future. together? We would be bound together by a, by a, a constitution, unilaterally. You okay. know, they would have certain... Before we go any further, I think powers. there's... I'm, I'm sorry, Blake. Uh, before we go any further, I think there's some muddy water that we need to try and make clear. What is your definition of libertarianism, and where did you hear about it? Libertarianism, to me, is individual liberty and self-reliance mm -hmm. and not relying on anybody else, a non-aggression principle, Okay. not using force. So uh, I, I understand that you would be somewhat worried— um, that obviously, if like let's say the federal government was to disappear tomorrow, I think there would be obviously a, a chaotic decompression period. And uh, I, I don't know who who coined the phrase, whether it was Murray Rothbard or Walter Block or somebody somebody like that. But if the government disappeared overnight, it would be up and running again the next day because the problems with um, with humanity that make government possible would still exist. So pushing a button and getting the government to go away doesn't solve the problem, right? So I, I think that I, I definitely understand the real fear that if suddenly this government that, as we already talked about, so many people are so dependent on just vanished that there, there would be a period of chaos but I don't think that chaos could be sustainable. I think that there would be a kind of spontaneous organization that would follow. Maybe it would take a you know a, a couple of weeks to start happening, months, years, who knows? Uh, but well, that you remember they shut the government down for a few weeks last year, right? There was this big deal about how a certain portion of the government was going to completely shut down, and people were freaking yeah, out. Yeah, they didn't really shut anything down. That was yeah. just show. They just shut down like parks. And stuff they just and shut down like. like the, yeah, yeah, exactly. They shut down some stuff, and everything was fine. Um, I'm not really no, I'm worried. Not I'm not really worried about it personally. I don't see them as holding anything together. Uh, if anything, you want to hang on, Blake. We can bring you back for more discussion here in hour number two. Eight fifty five four fifty three is the toll free number. If you want to jump in here, share your thoughts about eliminating the feds. Eight fifty five four fifty three. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand-scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three-quarter inch pre-finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22-month special financing is available. So go to LumberLiquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Breathe it in, kid. Clean, fresh air thanks to these new air handler filters. They're more energy efficient, hold more dust, and are stronger than ever. And Granger's got over 3,000 different styles and sizes to choose from. Just ordered a new batch from Granger.com today. I love oxygen, kid. And this facility's got some great AO2. I'm breathing easier just thinking about these air handler filters. Get some today. Get it? Got it? Good.
Call, click Granger.com slash air handler or stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush. Online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494 or apply online at calldorothy.com. NMLS 216624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give otherwise. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. Find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. 
On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. The General Counsel in the Office of the Director of National Intelligence told the U.S. Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board that a recently revealed foreign surveillance program is specific with its targets and not bulk data collection. Robert Lidd is quoted here, getting a whole bunch of communications, hanging on to them, and then figuring out later what you want. This is not that. This is a situation where we figure out what we want, and we get that specifically. Lit was responding to a Washington Post report on the Mystic program, which reportedly is capable of recording 100% of a foreign country's telephone calls. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. From the get-go, coming in late on that first line, singing totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f*** off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a game. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the second hour of the program. What would happen if the federal government were to go away? That's what we've been discussing with Blake. He hung through the news to continue that discussion, so we're going to bring him back on. And then, still to come here tonight, 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We'll start that list. We have not yet uh, scratched the surface of that. And the we tonight is me, Ian. And Brett. Brett here from the School Sucks Project. At schoolsucksproject.com, what is it, Brett? Well, SchoolSucksProject.com started as just a podcast Mm -hmm. where uh, I had uh, finally, after years and years of, you know, biting my lip in um, various education jobs, I was a teacher for a number of years and I was a tutor, I had an outlet, I had a way to vent, Uh, so I started talking about some of the the problems that I had uh, with education, we built a a listenership, we built a, a decent following, built a website, it turned into a community, and, um, you know, I like to consider it a resource that people can go to and find out not only what the current issues are with government schooling and, uh, you know, why it got to be that way, but they can also get some answers about real education and some strategies for, you know, better critical thinking, better intellectual self-defense, like how to deal with the mainstream media, how to spot logical fallacies, and and how to do things better, like how to be more productive, how to be less stressed, how to communicate better. Um, so we also, you know, lateral to pointing out all the ongoing problems and historical problems with government school, we also want to be showing people what real education can look like. Solutions. I like that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, self-improvement. We're going to do some of that here yeah. in a little bit. Schoolsucksproject.com. How many years have you been doing it now? Oh, gosh. Since Four August five? 2009. So we're going to be coming up on our fifth this anniversary year. this year. Very cool. Let's go to the phones. We're going back to Blake. He had called in tonight because apparently Adam Kokesh, yeah. who is a liberty-oriented kind of TV producer, oh, and he just dropped off the line. Oh, Blake, feel free to call back. Maybe there was a bad sell yeah. or something like that. Um, anyway, Adam Kokesh apparently has announced that he's going to run for president in the year 2020. I think the reason why he's doing it then is because he's not 35 yet. Uh, and so at that point, he'll he'll be thir- beyond 35 and qualified to run for president. Apparently, he says he's going to run as an anarchist, which I don't know how you go about doing that. 
Uh, there certainly is no anarchist political party. So what I guess, you know, I've never looked into what it takes to get ballot qualified to run for president. I guess it's pretty easy to do here in New Hampshire. I'm not sure what uh, Vermin Supreme, what his political party is. I think he actually ran as a Democrat here in New Hampshire. So I don't know what happens if you're not a Democrat or a Republican and you're trying to get on the ballot and you're not a third party member either. That sounds like it would be a pretty difficult process. Adam is very good at doing things that are thought provoking because I'm already thinking about this now, right? Mm -hmm. Because really, like, if you're like Ron Paul, if you're like Harry Brown, you're running for president to have an educational platform. It's a message, yeah. Yeah. And maybe Adam is doing the same thing, but. Well, I would hope so because who the hell's going to win as an anarchist? Well, that's the other interesting thing. Maybe Adam is forecasting into the future, right? That's like six years from now. How bad mm -hmm. are things going to be with the federal government? By the year Not 2020, better, that's for sure. So, is that going to be more appealing? Is is getting is it possible? Is it it could be possible that getting rid of the federal government is a realistic option for a much greater number of people in the year 2020? Could I be. mean, there's, there are states that have been having uh, secession discussions for 15, 20 years. Well, we just had uh, when Ali was on the show Monday night, yeah. we read some of the numbers that Americans, 21 percent of them, believe that right now. Uh, that it would be totally fine if their state seceded from the United States. Like 21% support the idea of state secession today. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that idea has uh, an appeal. But I mean, it really, if you if you do what Ron Paul was trying to do, I mean, just if you kind of walk through Ron Paul becoming president, it's just a way for, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist, for a nice man to get immediately murdered. You know? <laughs> I mean, I, I, if you think about the, the vested interests uh, mm. involved, it, like even if Ron Paul just decided to take on the military industrial complex, the, the hornet's nest that he would be hitting with a bat, uh, I, I, I don't think he would he would last very long. So the federal government has so many uh, special interests and and dependents. That the idea of getting—I mean, it's a—it's a very. Uh, well, okay, so Mr. Conspiracy, I have a okay, question sure, for you. Sure, sure. So I get what you're saying. If somebody like Ron Paul wins the election to yeah. president, that the powers that be will take him out. But Absolutely. why not just I, I take mean, him out now? Like, why not? Uh, why not come up with some reason to eliminate Ron Paul right now? Because he is stoking the fires of liberty to some extent. He right. is spreading the ideas of freedom, and that's got to be dangerous to those people, right? Well, I, I think it is. But like he's public enemy number one for the the Illuminati or whoever it is, the Trilateral Commission or whoever you the but the Bilderbergers. You're, uh, you're, you're making it a little more cartoony than I think it really is. <laughs> I I think that that would be a real concern. I'm you know full disclosure. Disclosure, I believe uh, John F. Kennedy was killed simply because he wanted to get rid of the CIA. Mm. And that was enough. I mean, that's kind of the wrong organization to mess with, too. Uh, and he had he he made a lot of enemies. So there were other. I mean, he was against the Federal Reserve. He was kind of disrespectful to uh, Lyndon Johnson, who was a pretty connected and, and shady guy. So there were multiple reasons. But I think ultimately it was his stance against Vietnam. Mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, he originally had kind of started, <laughs> but then uh, wanted to de-escalate. Uh, that wasn't popular. And he also said he wanted to split the CIA into thousands of pieces. So if you just look at those two issues, one, nothing war in East Asia and one government organization, right? That, and even if he was killed by the crazy lone gunman who always happens to show up at the right time, mm -hmm. you know, that's most convenient for the powers that be, uh, even if that the official story is true, um, he had a lot of enemies. And he was a, a big government guy, you know? So yes. now you, you take somebody like Ron Paul. And yeah, I would say as far as getting rid of him is concerned, you wouldn't want to get rid of somebody until you have to because it's dangerous. And is you it? also make them a martyr if you do that. Yeah, but not, but okay, wait. But these guys are purportedly the most powerful people, whoever they are, the Bilderbergers or whichever group. Uh, these are the people who can pull the strings to hire the very expensive hitmen and and they can do a job where, you know, just slip some poison in his meal at some banquet dinner or whatever, and then he keels over several hours later. I mean, it can be done in a way that, uh, that it wouldn't be necessarily detectable. Just to take somebody out doesn't necessarily mean you've got to have a clock tower and a shooter. Yeah, but it doesn't really—I mean, it's a, it's a good point that you're making, but 
th all Ron Paul is is really doing is attracting people to these ideas, and then you you do have the threat that a movement is going to build, and a movement has built. So I guess what are you saying is that uh, the, the bringing people to the ideas doesn't necessarily immediately threaten their legitimacy, e threaten their power. Exactly because it's more speculative that something could happen. In what the kind of power do they have? So what what was the game plan when this happened? When something similar happened in the 1960s? Because we can look at history and learn from it. Now there were leaders of the uh, the Black Panthers that were you know small enough that they could just go and kill. And they did. The FBI murdered uh, one of the leaders of the Black Panthers. Uh, the FBI sent letters to Martin Luther King saying mm -hmm. that we're going to make your uh, adulterous uh, relationships public if mm -hmm. you don't just commit suicide. Real letter from the FBI really? to Martin Luther King. Um, another project that they were running to deal with the Vietnam uh, peace movement was called COINTEL Pro, which you might be familiar with. It mm -hmm. stood for Counterintelligence Program, and this was in the the Nixon administration. And it was essentially to use agents provocateur to to turn a movement in on itself. And right. maybe, you know, I mean, these people like people are always like, oh, conspiracies can't be real because the government's so incompetent. But that's kind of a dodge, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Government's really incompetent when it comes to serving you. Yeah, it sucks, right? When it comes sure. to educating your kids. Or, you know, getting your car registered in an efficient and timely manner. Yeah, it sucks at that stuff. But the the, the part of government that serves the powerful, the Federal Reserve, uh, the CIA, the NSA, they're kind of killing it. You know, they're doing a pretty good job, hmm. right? Because they have a tremendous amount of resources, a tremendous amount of minds. Uh, there's various parts of the government that are in the top universities in the country pulling, you know, these bright young minds uh, into uh, the intelligence sphere, into the military sphere. So they have not only the monetary resources, but they also have the, the intelligence resources. And they can get a lot done. It's just not going to be related to serving the people. So Blake just called back in. Okay. We're going to ask him to hang on. We're going to give him another shot here. Hopefully he can stick with us. Sure. And we'll come back to the topic of well, what will things be like without a federal government? 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can add your thoughts in here on Free Talk Live. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You got to pay attention to the small things, kid. Small things matter. Small problems become big problems. Take a transformer. Rain leaks into a transformer. Insulation system breaks down. Insulation system breaks down. Copper windings overheat. Copper windings overheat. Transformer blows. Transformer blows. Facility goes dark. Facility goes dark. Kid, you don't want to know what happens next. That's why I use Granger. Granger helps keep small problems from turning into big problems. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc, and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up whatever you want. Toll free number 855-453. Still to come, the 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We haven't scratched the surface, but we will get into that when we get a chance. We ended up talking about uh, Blake called in uh, at the end of the last hour and was concerned about ending the federal government. Apparently, Adam Kokesh is planning to run for president as an anarchist. Not that anybody believes that an anarchist is actually going to get elected uh, to the presidential position. But nonetheless, it can get the uh, the gears turning, start people thinking about, well, what would happen if the federal government were abolished, if it were to disappear, if, for instance, enough states were to secede to make it irrelevant, what would happen then? How would life change? What would things be like? And and Blake got disconnected right at the beginning of the last segment, but he did call back, so I'm going to bring him back on here. Blake, you're back on Free Talk Live with Ian and Brett. Uh, so hey. I don't know where we were. Sorry, when we, I was driving, go ahead. I was driving through Arizona. I went through the canyon there. Sorry. Hey, Brett just came back Um, from Arizona. I just came back from Arizona yesterday. Lucky you for being there. It is beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice today. But, um, so I was just thinking while we were cut off and everything, that Ron Paul isn't even against abolishing the federal government. He said before that they're there to protect individual liberties. And I think, I would say the military too, but I would say, I thought I heard somewhere that he was, even proposing for a private military or something. but Well, how's that whole I mean, protecting individual liberties thing going? Well, obviously, the government right now isn't in, isn't in a great shape. I'm not against abolishing the federal government, but I'm against the federal government right now. I think we should just hit the reset button. They're, the Constitution would be gone. I think that they are there to enforce, like, who would keep the states in check? I know the state governments would be smaller, so it would be easier to change it, but... There, there were the some. Would be gone. There were some concerns. I mean, there's this forgotten period in American history that you don't learn in school, and it goes from after the American Revolution until uh, the uh, adopting of the Constitution, and it's a period of about a decade, a little less than a decade, when uh, the states were under the Articles of Confederation, and it wasn't really, really. Uh, you know, federalized to the extent we see today until after the American Civil War. In fact, all documents prior to the Civil War were written, the United States are. And after the Civil War, it was written, the United States is, Mm. right? It's one thing. And it's it's a big difference. Yeah. Uh, So the the period uh, where the states were governed by the Articles of Confederation, that it was a loose confederation of independent states, Uh, That was an idea that a a lot of the uh, big government guys of the day, like Alexander Hamilton, uh, wanted to do away with because they were they were afraid of the states 
having that kind of independence. And there were some issues that they exaggerated, like some states would, you know, pass high tariff laws. Mm -hmm. So especially, you know, if like they had a good uh, port, you know, where things were coming in, they could make things more difficult for some of the other states. And if we federalize that, you know, if we make a federal law that prevents this, it's more fair. I don't know about you, but I personally would be willing to trade any fears about what the states Mm. might do for everything that we know that the federal government does, right? So you've got the federal government going around the world, murdering people, committing atrocities, warmongering. Uh, You've got the federal government creating all kinds of, you know, they're the ones encouraging the police state. They're the ones funding the Bearcats. They're the ones funding the police militarization that we're seeing all around the country, Uh, the constant surveillance. That's the federal government that's, uh, that's doing that. And yeah, here in New Hampshire, uh, and I don't know. I mean, I can't. I'm not going to speak for the other states. California, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that place. Right. Uh, but in New Hampshire, we do actually have an ability to have influence as average people in the legislative process here. Uh, so yeah, yeah well, I have I no, think, I have no love I for the federal government. They don't do anything for me, and I don't think they uh, they provide any benefits that are worth keeping them around for. All I'm saying is, I think there is at the end of the day we. We, there is a point of the, of the federal government right now. I would, I think, the majority of people would agree that it's time to reset everyone that's representing us in the federal government. Well, but would you want to reset the Soviet health, Union? No, I would not. Well, but why, I'm saying the, so, people, so, repre- the just, people in Congress are not representing the people right now. And that's what I'm saying. Well, they'll never represent the people. They're they're always going to represent the people that give them the most money and give them the most influence and power. That's who they're going to represent. They're going to represent themselves and their their buddies. And they're never going to represent you or I because it's just the system doesn't work that way. And no no amount of resetting is going to change that. When you say reset, Blake, are you talking about like return to the Constitution? Yes, returning to the Constitution, states' rights. So bring back black people being three fifths of a man. No, I mean you would say you would say obviously. I think that there's some things from the Constitution that would just be done away with, right? Like as far as anything that um, kind of uh, memorialized the inequality of women or uh, black people or Native Americans, like that stuff could go away. But I mean, you're just talking about the essential functions of government. Uh, It would be nice if we could, if it was possible, I'm sorry, if government could return to just that. That, That's your point? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, well, I I just, uh, you know, a couple comments on that. Uh, Are you familiar with Lysander Spooner? With who, I'm sorry? Lysander Spooner. No, I'm not. It's worth looking up, and you could probably find this whole document online. It's called The Constitution of No Authority. And it talks about— A.K.A. No Treason, right? Uh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no no treason. Um, the Constitution is not a, any kind of legitimate binding document because none of the people who are upholding it today— uh, signed it. None of us have signed it. And the conclusion, or one of the conclusions that Spooner makes, and Spooner was a lawyer uh, in the late 1800s, he says, either the Constitution was completely impotent in preventing the kind of government that we have today, <laughs> or that he observed. And he didn't like it back in the yeah, 1800s. over 120 years ago, or it left a door open that uh, that allowed this to happen. So, the the problem and one of the things that either the founders deliberately avoided or didn't factor into the equation is that good people are not attracted to power. Good good people are not attracted to those kinds of positions. Bad people are attracted to power. Well, we're gonna have to this have to be an individual thing. We're gonna have to take responsibility. And people are going to... I'm sorry, you're breaking we're, up we're a little bit. You, Blake. It sounded like you said take responsibility. Thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate hearing from you. I, you know what I hear from Blake is kind of the the new libertarian uh, viewpoint of we just need to get back to the way the, you know back to more freedom as though there was more freedom in the past or something like that. And then there may have been more freedom for some people in in the past, but others, as you pointed out, with uh, like black people, uh, were definitely not more free back then. So I always I, I'm always 
concerned when I hear libertarians use language like this, like we got to get back to the you know more freedom in the past, turn back to the Constitution. I think that can come off as pretty offensive to a lot of people that uh, that might overhear it. It's very difficult to talk about in black and in black and white ways, and uh, you know it's it's interesting. Like one of the concerns way way back in the day, there were there was concern that slaves had too much freedom, mm. right? Because they couldn't put like what's the benefit of being a citizen? And, and we think about you protection, know, always, supposedly. Well, it, for the for the rulers, the benefit of being the, a citizen is you can put the state into them, right? Bl- people who are enslaved are never going to buy into like I'm a part of a team, mm. you know. So they couldn't be controlled the way citizens could. So like the whole more or less freedom in the past is very very difficult to sort out. It's a complex issue. We'll come back with more. You can share your thoughts at eight fifty five four fifty three. This is Free Talk Live. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. The Surgeon General warns teens the cinnamon challenge is not for pussies. Taylor Swift is now dating the Watertown boat, and a middle-aged funeral director buys a flashy red hearse. We pity your pathetic dependence on this for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. This is The Onion Week in Review. A study released this week by the National Institutes of Health confirmed that for the 25th straight year, wolf attacks remain the leading cause of death in the United States. The Human Health Agency's findings confirmed that being viciously killed by a ravenous wolf claimed the lives of over 800 thousand Americans last year alone, with researchers adding that one person in the United States dies every 40 seconds from a violent wolf attack. The mortality rate associated with wolf attacks vastly outstrips the death tolls of cancer, stroke, and chronic respiratory disease. People should know that anyone... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is the Onion News Network. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Live, bring up whatever you want right here toll free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. That is the number brought to you by Pro XPN. And of course, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. We've got listening options, live streams, got broadband, mid-band, and narrow band versions of the show. You can get tuned in to any one any one of those anytime, not just during the live show, but also all the other 21 hours a day, we've got the latest episode of Free Talk Live airing at all times at listen.freetalklive.com. Plus, over 140 radio stations take the show at various times throughout the week. In addition to that, we've got satellite listening options like free-to-air satellite available across North and Central America. In addition, there's the webcam where you can watch, listen, and interact with other Free Talk Live listeners during the show. Plus, our listen lines that allow you to call in from any phone. That can dial long distance and get tuned in that way. So if you really care about freedom, if you really love the ideas of liberty, and you understand that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free, and you're willing to actually do something to achieve those ideas, then go to freestateproject.org. Learn about the Free State Project. Learn about the t- what is going to be 20,000 liberty-minded people like you who are going to come to the same place. They're already beginning. Uh, Brett, you and I were members of the Free State Project, yep. or I guess participants in the Free State Project. We are what are called early movers. There are over 1,500 people who are uh, who are here now in New Hampshire. Over 1,000 people have made the move early. We're trying to reach 20,000 people to pledge to make that move, to make the move to New Hampshire to get active for freedom. We've got over 15,500 so far. So sometime within the next couple years, if rates continue at the rates they're going right now, we're going to reach that 20,000 number, and then there's going to be a five-year window of time where all 20,000 will have to make the move to New Hampshire and to get active. We've already seen the 1,500 that are here have an amazing effect, have a very positive effect on the political scene and also creating great media, uh, doing civil disobedience. There's just been so much that has happened here so far, and we're just barely getting started. Maybe secession! would be a possibility if we got enough activists here. I certainly would like to think so. You can go to freestateproject.org, learn more. There's 101 reasons there to move to New Hampshire if you love the ideas of liberty. And I think you'll be persuaded. I know I was. Freestateproject.org is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Let's go uh, back to the phone calls and your thoughts. Then coming up, 30 things to stop doing to yourself. First, though, we go to Bill. He's in Jackson, Mississippi, listening to WPBQ. Hey, Bill. Hi, guys. Hey. I was just listening to the discussion of the uh, the guy who who thought that the past was a panacea of uh, of free rights among the states, and of course some of the history is not even presented correctly because those of us who's really studied it know that there was such a thing as the padrone system where there was a boss hog everywhere you went, such as uh, Carlos Marcelo and Leander Perez in in South Louisiana. And the Pendergast ruled the roost in Kansas City, and George Parr in South Texas. As everywhere you went, there was a local boss that you had to deal with, and there was no individual freedom. So actually, there were both white and black slaves, if you want to look at it like that. So you mentioned Carlos Marcello. You're talking about the mafia, right? In that in that case, right. In that case, it was the mafia. But other cases, it was not really the mafia, like a Pendergast in in Kansas City, and, and, and he, he got he got brought up, and, of course, he was really responsible for getting uh, Truman uh, in, involved in politics, and he, he funded him. However, sure. Yeah, was, so you're just talking about other forms of organized crime. Joe Kennedy, uh, another example, helped get his son elected with help from, you know, the regular mafia. So, yeah, it's just more organized crime except with these smaller guys like— you know, Joe Kennedy, well, actually, let's strike Joe Kennedy because he wound up working for the government. Um, Carlos Marcello, Santos Traficante, the five families in New York, they uh, just lack uh, flags and s- their own school systems, which make, <laughs> makes it harder for them to get legitimacy like the federal government did. And, and George Parr, you, you can't forget him. He, he put LBJ into office and we know what happened after that. Absolutely. Sure. I, I, I agree with you uh, fully. So, 
Um, what, what, what was your the, the general thrust here? Are, are you saying that we need a federal government? Oh, no, no. It, okay. But it's just that if you're not careful, you, you, you may think that you know the local government scene and, and the local individual freedom is just going to fall into place. But, of course, it wasn't. I mean, it didn't because the, those local boss hogs ruled the roost, and everywhere you went, there was one of them in, in control locally. And that, that was in place up to the mid to... Uh, to late uh, uh, 20th century, to some well, extent. Well, it hasn't changed. I mean, there's still a boss hog in every town. They're called the town or city manager. They're the ones that are essentially the mob, the mob boss of the, the, of the town. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the guy that runs the city of Keene, he even has that look. He's real nice. You know, he seems like real nice to your to your face. Personable. But he, yeah, yeah, he seems real personal. He's real slick with his words. But he's got like this kind of jowly mob boss. He's like this big guy. And he even has that look to him. You know, sort of how like cops have a certain look. Mm -hmm. This guy has a look oh, yeah. to him. Well, yeah, I, I think that, that you're you're making a good point, and it kind of speaks to what we were saying earlier about how if government just vanished, it would be up and running again in no time, because I think government is the end result of a lot of uh, defects in humanity. You know, mm -hmm. government is what shows up. You it's know, the manifestation of our failures as people. The things we get wrong, right? So like obesity and a zitty face might be the results of a poor diet. Um, there's things that human beings just haven't figured out. And, and really, we've only probably had 150 years to try, like really since the Industrial Revolution created free time where most common people could actually stop and think and 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 yeah, but they're engage. not doing much thinking yeah, now, right? In, in, they're watching television. Well, there was an opportunity. Yeah, uh, that, that people could actually engage in introspection and try to learn about their, uh, you know, themselves and each other. And then, you know, we have this wave of technology that that really is splitting us into two. It's it's kind of exacerbating the intellectual laziness and apathy of some people, but. You know, there are the few that are really, you know, grabbing the reins of technology and putting it to, to good use. So, yeah, it's it, there There are a number of things philosophically, ethically, as far as communications, as far as understanding ourselves, that we haven't been able to do very well as a civilization. And, you know, the, the manifestation of those failings, in my opinion, is is the government, is corporatism, is organized crime, is, you know, uh, uh, violence and, and child abuse. And, and all of those things are, are related as far as I'm concerned. Bill, any other thoughts? Well, that uh, pretty, pretty much is the point that I was trying to get across. Thanks for the call Thanks. tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Bill's one of the guys who's doing something positive with technology. He actually runs WPBQ down there in Jackson, oh, Mississippi. Great. So great. he is responsible for putting Free Talk Live on the air in Jackson. So giving people something to actually think about on a nightly basis there in town. So 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number here tonight. That's 855-450-3733. You know, what we're talking about here, this, this manifestation, the government, uh, what we see on the outside is really just ref a, sort of a collective reflection of uh, what is wrong with us on our inside. It's kind of one of the reasons why Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to see peace, you have to find peace internally. First, you're not going to be able to achieve it through violence because, and I, it was Dobby Barker, who I, Dobby Barker who I heard point this out on Derek Jay's show, Peace News Now, which I thought was an excellent point, was that your means, uh, the ends have to be within the means in that uh, you, you, you cannot seed peace by uh, using violence. You know, violence cannot be the seeds for peace. Your, uh, your ends must, or your means must, damn it, your ends must contain your means, I think. Yeah. Your you're, I you're, or, yeah, for. I mean, that, that makes that absolutely makes sense. And I yeah. totally, I could not agree with, with Davi more. Yeah. Um, so that's what we need to see is more people coming to the conclusion that peace is the way to peace and then applying that in their own lives. And maybe then that'll change things on the outside of the rest of the world. Yeah, I've said the, you know, something very similar with respect to politics is that, you know, the worst, the things we struggle with the most as individual human beings seem to be uh, magnified and par for the course in the political world. The, mm -hmm. the kinds of behaviors that are totally acceptable for some guy running for president are, you know, things ourselves. We're like, oh, I should really work on that. Toll free number tonight. You can share your thoughts. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Take control here on Free Talk Live. 
On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on joined the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Attention radio listeners, are you getting amazing results from your store-bought Omega-3? Since taking Omax-3, mental fuzziness is gone. I'm on top of things. My bad cholesterol had gone down and my triglycerides had gone down. Being 53, sometimes it's pretty uncomfortable getting up and getting out of bed. With the Omax-3, I'm jumping out of bed and the joints feel great. We want your Omax story next, so we're sending you a free supply. Developed by Ivy League doctors affiliated with Yale University, Omax-3 is clinically tested to help improve cholesterol and reduce triglycerides by 30% in just 30 days while fighting joint pain better than your store brand. You can also feel improvements in your mood and memory with your first free supply. Omax 3's pharmaceutical grade omega 3s come individually blister packed so it absorbs better and gives you faster results with no fish burps. Feel results in just days, guaranteed. Get your free supply today for just the cost of shipping. Call 1 800 672 4601. That's 1 800 672 4601. 800 672 4601. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, take control of the airwaves, toll free, 855-453, that's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype, by the way, you can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out to us if uh, you've got Skype. If you do have Skype, I would say choose Skype if you have the opportunity, because you'll usually sound better 
than you would on the phone. So again, send a contact request first, otherwise it won't work. You do have to send a request to username lrn.fm. With you tonight, Ian here. And Brett. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Go there, grab a pound of the best of the best coffee for free. All you have to do is pay the cost of shipping. The the pound itself will cost you nothing. It's because BuzzBox really believes in their product. They think you're going to really like it. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. Now, it's competitively priced when you actually go and buy a pound later on. You'll see that it's uh, competitively priced with other high-end coffees. But at BuzzBox, they're doing something different than those other coffee producers. They've set up a program that allows people around the world in tough places to live to buy into their co-op. Free uh, Free Talk Live is attempting to recruit a 1,000 Free Talk Live listeners who love coffee, maybe like you, to order your coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com, which will allow us and BuzzBox to finance 100 microloans through World Vision. That's going to help change people's lives by giving people in poverty an opportunity to start their own businesses. Get started now and get your free pound of coffee over at coffee.freetalklive.com. You pay the shipping cost and you can cancel your subscription at any time. Basically, you get started and uh, it's your first pound on an auto ship program where you select how f- frequent you want your favorite type of coffee delivered to your door. Maybe you're a heavy coffee drinker and you need it every two weeks. Maybe you need it every six weeks. You know, you can set your frequency of delivery, customize it for your habits. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Go grab your free pound right now and just pay the cost of shipping. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. So, been teasing this the entire show tonight, Brett. We should probably get started on it. Yeah, we'll look forward to this. We'll see how many of these 30 things that you should stop doing to yourself, according to lifebuzz.com. Mark and Angel, two passionate writers, life hackers, and admirers of the human spirit, have come up with an amazing list of 30 things to stop doing to yourself. If you like the list, check out their website, which is Mark, that's M-A-R-C, and Angel.com. Number one. Stop spending time with the wrong people. Life is too short to spend time with people who suck the happiness out of you. If someone wants you in their life, they'll make room for you. You shouldn't have to fight for a spot. Never ever insist to yourself uh, insist yourself to someone who continually overlooks your worth. And remember, it's not the people that stand by your side when you're at your best, but the ones who stand beside you when you're at your worst. That are your true friends. Yeah, I've heard this one reworded into the, the this this axiom, I guess. The people that you surround yourself with will either bring you up or bring you down. So you mm-hmm. want to select good people, successful people, people who are doers, people who are thinkers, creators, people who are positive. Those are the kinds of people you want to surround yourself with. Because if you're around drug addicts, losers, uh, mooches, leeches... Uh, these kind of people, that's not going to be good for you. Yeah, and really negative people. That too. Is very, and, and there's this idea, and it's usually it's it's usually attributed to women doing this, and that might not be fair, but seeing men as, uh, or seeing a man as a project, like Ooh. a fixer-upper. You've probably heard of this of idea. Of course. And I think this can happen with, um, you know, friends, too. Like, we, we want to help other people. And there's been times in my life, certainly, where I've been down and out and I've been negative and I haven't been doing well and could have used some help. But I remember one time particularly, it was um, it was actually right when I moved to New Hampshire, uh, a friend of mine was in a really difficult situation and, you know, I wanted to try and, you know, move in. He, needed, he had a house. He had been in the car business, so he had been, like, really wealthy at one time and then basically lost everything and he was drinking too much and he mm. said— you should live here with me because I had just moved back from Massachusetts. I was looking for a place to live. He had this big, beautiful house that was empty. He said, you should live with me. Your good habits might rub off on me. Hmm. Well, turned out it, it was the other way around. Yeah, gravity goes <laughs> down. You know, gravity goes down. And uh, it's it's it was easier for me to look at some of the things he was doing. I was kind of having a hard time in life. I just ended a, like a long-term relationship I saw all of his bad habits. I said, that looks like a lot of fun. You know, that looks like a nice escape. And uh, my good habits, at least for a short period of time, I mean, I was able to obviously eventually correct the situation. Um, my good habits went out the window in mm. favor of, you know, shorter term solutions to the problems that I was dealing with. Um, but, you know, negative people, uh, that's happened a lot in life. When people are just overly negative, you want to try and, and get away from them because they will suck the positivity out of you. Negativity is very, very strong. 
And, uh, you know, people also hang around with others, like you mentioned, like, you know, thieves or junkies. Like, people want to hang around with people who will normalize the behavior that deep down they know is bad. Mm. Heroin addicts don't hang out with joggers. They hang out with heroin yeah. addicts. Cops don't hang out with Ian Freeman. They hang out with other cops, you right. know, because they they— I think a lot of them understand that there's something abnormal or antisocial or egregious about what they're doing. So who do they surround themselves with? People who are doing the same thing that will help them normalize, but feel normal about their, I, I hate to label or judge behavior as bad, but behavior as you know less than optimal for uh, consistent uh, living with integrity. Cops sometimes do good things, but uh, yeah, sure. a, lot of, a lot of times they're doing bad things. Lots of cops are good guys, too. I mean, the cops that I've known, um, really decent guys, and they thought they were doing the right thing, but all their friends were cops. Exactly. So. If you, uh, And that's one thing that I think is going to be really important that we might be able to change here in New Hampshire, just as an aside on that. Uh, if we get enough liberty-minded people here in New Hampshire, then it'll be more and more difficult Difficult for people like the police to not encounter us, right? Because if the poli if a policeman's going to church or they're going to some sort of uh, men's club or wherever it is that they might go where they could encounter people who aren't police, then they have to go somewhere sometime, right? Mm -hmm. That are, that's not all cops around. The more likely they encounter in in other social circles, liberty-minded people who will give them feedback about, hey, you know. It's not right to arrest people for smoking pot or whatever. Just have those conversations with them. The more they can encounter those opinions from members of the public, members of their friends or a you know close group of associates, the more uncomfortable they're going to have. They're going to be becoming with th those positions, with holding those ideas. Yeah. We need to have those ideas become more popular, so the people who are the enforcers of them can realize that. Yeah. You know, there's another there's another aspect to this number one as well as far as surrounding yourself with the right people. It's it's actually an interesting one for 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 both of us. Uh, and this is a lesson I learned just from watching people who have political power and people who are celebrities. And one thing that I would advise against is letting an entourage form around you. Mm. You know, like mm -hmm. yes men. Like you see, uh, remember Jan Helfeld or John Helfeld who did the interviews with all the politicians? He still does. And they were just so stunned that somebody would challenge them or right. not say yes to them. Someone in the media, sure. Yeah, or be even slightly disrespectful because they're surrounded with like these pages and interns and mm -hmm. yes men all day. And celebrities are the same way. Do you know who I am? Uh. Because they, they're <laughs> surrounded all day with people who are filing their nails and fixing their hair and telling mm -hmm. them how great they are. Well, even the media is... Um, uh, they have to fall all over themselves to interview these people mm -hmm. because if they are critical, they're never going to get another interview. So Jan Helfeld knows he's probably never going to get another interview with these people. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Whereas the average media person, especially somebody in a uh, in a physical location, the average talk show, morning show, talk show host in your town, he wants to treat the mayor with kid gloves because he feels important when the mayor com the mayor's coming in tomorrow morning to be on the morning show you can call in and ask him your questions you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. <laughs> he'll never feel he'll never throw a tough question at the mayor because then the mayor will just decide to not not come in anymore right and yeah. so uh, so he wants to have the kind of the the what what he feels like the sway to be able to get the mayor on his show and so to in order to do that he's got a kowtow. Mm -hmm. yeah I, I, I think it's this even could apply to us, you know, like when you have a show, a popular show, lots of shows, not your show, and I hope not my show, uh, but there are shows out there that I could think of that kind of become these cults of personality, mm. right? Where well, people, I've been called a cult leader. Sure. The and people and, but, who are uh, critics of Free Keen, for instance. But you would be susceptible to this as well because you're the host of this show, mm -hmm. which is very popular, and a lot of people are attracted to New Hampshire, first of all, by hearing this show. It's true. And then learning more stuff. So you are a very central figure. Uh, then people come here, you run Free Keen, or you're at least one of the people who are running Free Keen's mm -hmm. the website. So you do, you, I, I think you do have a certain type of gravity that might make you more susceptible to that kind of perception from other people. Well, the right. nice the nice thing about this show is that it's not a one man band mm -hmm, kind of show. Mm -hmm. No one ever sits behind a microphone alone, or very very. There's been like one or two segments in the history of Free Talk Live where I've had to host alone because yeah, somebody couldn't yeah. make it on time or something like that. Um, but for the most part, there's always somebody in here to check an ego. 
Yeah. You know, nobody can get out of control on Free Talk Live because we don't all agree with one another. Right. And, uh, and it's, that's a nice thing about this program is that no, no one goes out of control with their ego on Free Talk Live. And everybody, you know, there's people in our audience that don't really like to listen to me. And they prefer Mark. Uh, and there's people that don't like me or they don't like Mark and they prefer me, etc. and various co-hosts. Hour 3 is next. Lumber liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. They've got their lowest price ever on hand scraped bamboo for just $189 a square foot and three quarter inch pre finished hickory for an unheard of $259 a square foot. Get free samples at your local store, plus 22 month special financing is available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Hurry, everything must go by Monday, March 31st. Quantum Vibe, it's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed, with brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key to access new frontiers and save liberty. QuantumVibe.com from Big Head Press. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Wednesday, March 26, 2014. Radio VR News. The unofficial death toll in that Washington state mudslide rises again to 24. Confirmed fatalities, scores more still unaccounted for. But there was some good news. A man listed among the missing in that massive mudslide is alive and well. Correspondent Tim McGuire reports. Carl Swanson was surprised to find out he was on the list of people unaccounted for since Saturday's massive mudslide. He says more than a few others are likely to come forward in the days ahead. I think a lot more people are going to surface and come up, you know, just that are hanging around at certain residences and friends. At the disaster site, one logger who has volunteered to cut and remove debris says just seeing the orange flags marking the location of a body reminds him that it might be someone he knows. I'm Tim McGuire. The Secret Service has a fresh scandal on its hands involving three agents and an alleged night of drinking ahead of President Obama's visit to the Netherlands. White House correspondent Mark Smith has the story. A spokesman says three agents have been sent home after one was found very drunk at an Amsterdam hotel just before Obama began a week-long European trip. The Washington Post reports the agents were on the counter-assault team, which defends the president should he come under attack, and one was a team leader. While officials insist Obama's security was not compromised, it's less than two years since a night of boozing with prostitutes in Colombia led to charges against 13 agents and officials. The Secret Service denied a frat house culture but imposed strict new rules in Colombia's aftermath. Mark Smith with the President, Brussels. The Obama administration is giving some people more time to get signed up for health insurance. Correspondent Carlotta Bradley explains. The Obama administration is granting more time for people to apply for health care if they've started the process but won't be able to finish it by the March 31st deadline. A Health and Human Services spokesman says the administration will be ready to help people, quote, in line by the deadline, finish their applications either online or over the phone. 
The White House had hinted last week a grace period was in the works. The administration is racing to sign up at least 6 million people in the new health insurance markets, offering subsidized private coverage. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. Correspondent Andrew Welsh Huggins explains why the future of lethal injections as a means of execution in the U.S. likely hinges on a decision by the American Pharmacists Association. Should the American Pharmacists Association go ahead with this ban, that would put the squeeze on even more for states because if it put these compounded drugs off limits, that would almost certainly mean that states, some states would have absolutely no drugs available for executions. In consumer news, a federal official says tens of thousands of hotels don't allow guests to directly reach emergency services when dialing 911 from their room phones. Correspondent Sandy Kozell has more. Federal Communications Commission member Ajit Pai announced the initial results of a survey that was taken after a nine-year-old Texas girl couldn't connect with 911 while her mother was being stabbed to death in a hotel room. The hotel room's phone required dialers to press 9 before dialing 911. Pai says the vast majority of America's estimated 53,000 hotel properties are run by franchise owners, and only about 45 percent of those have direct 911 dialing. I'm Sandy Kozell. Cruise ships are starting to get unannounced visits from the Coast Guard in a new safety initiative. Correspondent Tony Winton has the latest. Word of the new unannounced inspection program came in Washington where the National Transportation Safety Board is conducting a hearing on cruise ship safety. The Coast Guard says it will focus on vessels with a pattern of safety problems. The Coast Guard says in regular inspections last year, the most common deficiency was with fire doors. The hearing follows last year's fire aboard the Carnival Triumph that put more than 3,000 passengers into squalid conditions before the vessel could be towed to port. Tony Winton, Miami. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. This is Radio VR in Washington on 1390 AM. Top stories and interviews you won't hear anywhere else. This is Radio VR in Washington. More than just headlines. Frustrated Superman fans told reporters Monday that the economically healthy and financially stable Daily Planet newspaper is now the most unrealistic aspect of the comic book's universe. Acknowledging that enjoying the adventures of a superhero that can fly, lift cars over his head, and shoot beams of light out of his eyes requires some suspension of disbelief, longtime readers said even the comic's most exciting stories are regularly ruined by the implausibility of a thriving daily newspaper whose advertising revenue and circulation numbers have not at all been threatened by a media landscape overtaken by laptops laptops, smartphones, and aggregation websites. Look, I can play along with Superman using his breath to freeze a volcano or clapping his hands together to cause some sort of sonic boom, but seeing images of a thriving Daily Planet newsroom not facing layoffs or dwindling home subscriptions just really takes me out of the story. No one in Metropolis has realized they can get news online faster and for free. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the third hour of the program. You can bring up whatever you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can also join us via Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. Just send a contact request first, and, uh, and then you can easily connect with us because we will accept said request. For those of you just tuning in, we just started in the last hour the 30 things to stop doing to yourself, and I have a feeling we're probably not going to get through more than a third of them, uh, right? given how we have the tendency to uh, to go off on tangents and kind of uh, dig in and really discuss these things. My guess is five. We get through five. <laughs> I'm a little more optimistic on this. Uh, let's go and continue down the list. Uh, the number one point was to stop spending time with the wrong people. And uh, that's always a great uh, piece of advice. Number two, stop running from your problems. The article over at lifebuzz.com says face them head on. No, it won't be easy. 
There is no person in the world capable of flawlessly handling every punch thrown at them. We aren't supposed to be able to instantly solve problems. That's not how we're made. In fact, we're made to get upset, sad, hurt, stumble, and fall. Because that's the whole purpose of living, to face problems, learn, adapt, and solve them over the course of time. This is what ultimately molds us into the person that we become. That's good advice, too. Uh, facing your problems, that's how you can kind of create character rather than running away from your problems. And in fact, life will usually hand you all of the tools that you need to solve whatever the problem is if you're willing to move forward and kind of go into, into it, uh, charge ahead, so to speak. Yeah, it's funny, too. I mean, there are problems that do require a lot of introspection and work and effort and, and really, you know, trudging your way through some hard times. But I just still have these bad habits from growing up in the 1980s when if you just didn't know how to do something or you didn't have the tools for something, you just didn't have them, <laughs> you know? And mm. now, like, this is wrong, what do I do, is is usually at least a place to get a running to start. Just typing into Google or start page or something, uh, this is my problem. Have you had this problem? <laughs> you know, what did you do? And, and you could maybe at least start getting some ideas and really some motivation because one of the one of the things that I think stops people from facing things head on or, or dealing with challenges is they don't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't even have the, the terrain mapped that they well, need. Even if you don't start in the right place, uh, your failures will lead you to other ideas and you can sort of fail your way to success as it has been said before. I believe Arnold Schwarzenegger said that, but he, I'm sure he wasn't the first person to say that. Well, the way he said it, the, the way I think about him is because one this is such an obvious metaphor here is, is bodybuilding. Um, like say you want one of those big chests like Arnold mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger has. Well, you do these seemingly very strange things like you take a bar and you put weight on it and you hold it over yourself. It's a bar that if you let it go, it would crush your ribs and yes. your sternum. So it's a weird thing to do, but then you just continuously press it and uh, until you fail, uh, and then you get the, eventually that get chest. stronger. So yeah. th the point is that through resistance, through encountering resistance and fighting resistance, you can grow stronger. And I think life is, is very much the same way. Um, that it's those kinds of experiences, it's those kinds of challenges that if we can persevere through them, we have uh, a new strength at the end. You know, although there's so many different examples of kind of the classic story of the author trying to submit a, a script or submit a, a manuscript to a, a publishing company and mm. getting bounced back and told, you suck, kid, cut this, you know, cut it out, uh, and, you know, getting rejected a hundred times before that hundred and first time you get the uh, the exception letter. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, or the or the acceptance letter, and that's most people are going to stop after the first few rejections. They're not going to push through. They're not going to keep going. Yeah, uh, all the way through time number one hundred, where they finally make the make the cut. It's so funny that uh, you bring up that after I I mentioned Arnold Schwarzenegger because that your story brings to mind Sylvester Stallone. Did he have a story you know, like, like that? the two '80s Hollywood muscleman guys, uh, Sylvester Stallone. Um, the story. Are you familiar with the story behind the movie Rocky? I don't think so. That it was no. really uh, very much that Rocky is kind of down on his luck boxer who perseveres through difficult circumstances and doesn't get to the top. You know, because he winds up losing the big fight to Apollo Creed at the mm -hmm. end of the. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, he loses <laughs> at the end. Uh, you, you know, you've all had what thirty six years, <laughs> so yeah, I spoiled it. Uh, but he gets a shot. You know, he yeah. gets his shot, and it was really Sylvester Stallone's story. Who was, you know, down on his luck. He has that kind of thuggish look, the strange voice, the strange face. He's and, short. Yeah, he's short, so he wasn't getting like acceptance as an actor or even as a writer, which is what he really did. He was a writer, and he wrote the script for Rocky in like a day mm. after I think his wife had kicked him out, and he had to sell his dog oh, wow. at a at a liquor store because he was so broke. And you know they they said, okay, we'll give you a uh, hundred thousand dollars. I mean, this is a guy who sold his dog for like fifty bucks so mm -hmm. he could eat. Uh, you know, and, and finally they're like, you know, yeah, we'll give you a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, some ridiculous amount of money if you're selling your dog, um, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, if you if we can buy the script. Mm. And he says, only if I'm in it. You know, this is wow. my. And they said, absolutely, look at you, listen to you, no way. 
No way. <laughs> he wound up selling it for something like $35,000 because they said, you have to, you know, incur the risk with us mm -hmm. um, and you can get points on the back end, you know, that will pay you off the profits of the movie. Um, so the, the story behind Rocky is incredible. I mean, yeah, as far no as kidding. just rejection after rejection after rejection, uh, that it ultimately becomes one of the, it's considered to be, usually it's on the uh, uh, top 100 lists of, oh, yeah, of sure. uh, all-time great movies. So Sylvester Stallone's story is is very similar to what you were saying. That's what Speaking of rejection, Mike Sylvia <laughs> is on the line with us here. He is also known as uh, State Representative Mike Sylvia, a Free State Project participant who's been elected to the State House. And it uh, looks like the marijuana legalization thing died today. Isn't that right, Mike? Yes, it did. Sadly, uh, we took a little bit of a beating uh, on marijuana legalization and uh medicaid this after expansion. it had this after it passed the state house um what about three weeks three four weeks ago uh, it was uh, two weeks ago and uh i think that gave uh, the governor time to uh reinforce her troops and mm. the uh, speaker got uh, all her soldiers in order but i think you know you got to look to the bright side look at the you know the uh, the struggle going forward, and uh, I'm afraid that the Democrats are going to uh, really suffer in the fall election with uh, with what went on this week. Hmm. Tell me more. Well, uh, Medicaid expansion. Uh, it's a big bill that's going to come due. Uh, unfortunately, not until uh, further down the line. But Obamacare is not uh, particularly popular, mm -hmm. and uh, the the legalization. Um, Although, you know, it's tax and regulate, uh, at least it's a sort of voluntary-ish tax, um, would have brought in a tremendous lot of, uh, amount of money. And it's a, a very popular thing these days. Yeah, I was listening to some of the Statehouse audio feed. You can actually listen to whoever it is that's speaking at the moment in the Statehouse through an audio feed. I was listening to the debate this, uh, this afternoon about this, and there were some very persuasive points made by the pro-legalization side. I thought they did a great job, but obviously not persuasive enough. On the other hand, it's not all uh, over and done with. There is a decrim bill that passed by a veto-proof margin from that very same state house just about a week ago, right? I mean, this uh, that's still working. Yeah, that's going over to the Senate, and uh, that's something we can still work on. And uh, I think the Senate has been somewhat re receptive to that one. So that's that's still got high hopes, and uh, it's very popular. But uh, the governor is setting herself up for um, a bad time come the uh, fall election. Andrew Hemingway is a, a supporter of marijuana uh, legalization, mm -hmm. and uh that'll be uh, her competition well I mean, we don't know for sure right because they're going to have to go through likely go through a primary uh you're talking about one of the republican candidates i presume he'll have opposition by by somebody he's kind of the the person being touted by some of the people in the liberty movement i don't know much about the guy personally um i know that the uh the former governor candidate the gubernatorial candidate from the libertarian party in new hampshire apparently has thrown his support behind him so I guess that's some indicator of maybe this guy. Maybe yeah, he seems he's okay. to be a pretty decent guy. Okay. Have you met him? I have not. I guess we'll find out more about this person over time. I'm actually considering running against the uh, the governor in the primary race, Mike. Ooh, that, that excellent. Could be fun. You should be good. You'd be great <laughs> speaking from the floor of the house. <laughs> hey, thanks for the update. Appreciate the uh, the inside okay. scoop from the state house floor of New look, Hampshire, where we need more on. movers. We need more activists for the Free State Project. Thanks, Mike. More coming up here Great, on Mike. Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com 
Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited to take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You'll sound like Mike did a moment ago. He was calling on Skype. He sounded like he was sitting in the studio with us. Yeah. So you can do that, too. Again, username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request. It will be accepted. Blockchain.info, the best online Bitcoin wallet. You can go and get one for free right now at blockchain.info. Join millions of other Bitcoin users for this amazing currency that is decentralized, is not controlled by any government, is not controlled by a corporation. It's an open source project. It's the largest financial transaction network known to man. Bitcoin is incredible. If you haven't taken the time to learn about Bitcoin, go and do that at weusecoins.com. And then when you're ready to get your Bitcoin wallet, you go to blockchain.info. They've got encryption on their wallets, and the encryption is done in your browser, which means that the blockchain company actually doesn't have access to your money, nor does uh, any government agency. Only you. Blockchain.info. Go get your free Bitcoin wallet right now. Blockchain.info. We'll continue, when we can, the 30 things. This may it may take us a month of Wednesday shows to get through this. Uh, the 30 things to stop doing to yourself. We've got a boatload of calls all of a sudden, so we're going to go to the phones and to the fun. In fact, ladies first, let's go with Katie in Nevada on the amp lines. Hello, Katie. Hi. Hi there. You're on the air. Um, hello. Well, 
Okay, I'm on the air now. Yes. This is my first time calling. Welcome. Go ahead with your thoughts. <laughs> so, no, um, I I called in to talk about how I'm I'm actually quite disturbed over um, in Albuquerque how the police murdered that man for illegally camping, and I saw one video which was censored, and I was kind of like, well, what the heck, you know? And I just couldn't let it go, and and then I saw an uncensored video that um that radio uh, personnel Alex Jones put on the air, and it was a full video. Okay, so it break it uncensored. down for me, because all I've seen, Katie, is the headline. Uh, I have not seen the video. Brett, I don't know how familiar I you are with this I haven't heard case. anything about this yet. So break it down for us. What happened? Um, well, they were, they, they were, there were several police, and they all had their guns drawn on him. They even had an officer that had a canine dog. And they were talking to him, and he was basically, the homeless man was also talking to the police, you know, saying that Where was this man, I mean, this you have to see man. it. Huh? Where, where did I the, don't remember this, his name. No, but where did this take place? Was it in a, a, the city area? It was in, no, it was in the, from the video, it looked like it was in the mountains, like okay. in the hill. Like there was a lot of rock, hmm. and he was standing on a hill. And he was basically saying how he he's like, I'm trying to work with you guys, you know, because they all had their guns drawn on him. And he had like he had his stuff on the ground and he said, I'm I'm OK, I'm going to I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come with you guys. I'm just let me get my stuff. Mm. So they're like, so then some officer fires like a warning shot. It sounds and they shout at him get down on the ground, get down on the ground. And he kind of like flinches and he sees the dog. Now, from the video, it looks like the dog is a good, I want to say 20, maybe 15 feet away, like not that far. And apparently they claim that he grabbed his knife and that he was going to assault the officer that was holding the dog, but he was nowhere near him. And after they fired the warning shot, Next thing you know, they're gunning him down. They're literally gunning him down. They're shooting him down, and they they just kill him. Mm. And I am just so disturbed. And I'm just like, once he's down, once he's shot, they shoot him again. He's, like, moving. He's, like, wiggling on the floor. And I don't know this man. I don't even know his name. But I just... Oh, my God. I just couldn't believe it. And the stupid chief of police is, like, saying that it's justified mm-hmm. that he threatened. Threatened what? Like, he was at least 15 feet away, and they just killed him. Right. This What's man a man with a knife going to do? I mean, even if he actually had a knife, because the, the police are claiming he even pulled a knife. Even if he had a knife. Like, what? they're not trained officers. They can't take down a man with a knife. Like, seriously? And even, you know, they take his life because he didn't get down on the floor. Like, yeah. you're, you're a trained officer. You should be able to handle these situations. Yeah. We, the other thing, too, is... Today. The, the other thing, too, even when we think about our own self-defense involving a firearm, like... It, very rarely. I mean, if I was if I was faced with an attacker who had, you know, even a medium sized knife, even within 20 feet of me, you know, I'm thinking one shot in the foot, in the leg. Yeah, that's ends what I said, too. They could the have shot him in the foot. They could have, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I even me, I, you know, I've only been, you know, shooting not not too long. And I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I, I've been practicing, and I'm, I'm a pretty good aim. And it's like if you're a trained officer, I'm sure you're, you're a pretty damn good aim. They mm-hmm. could have. It was just unnecessary. And what, make, what makes me even more angry is they claim that it was justified. I'm like, and people, I'm like, why aren't people outraged? Like, why aren't people, I don't know, like, this is an Albuquerque. So like, the I, reason, I would have. Uh, uh, if you want, I can I can speculate here. Uh, the reason why people aren't outraged, some people are obviously. The pe- people who are critical of the police are certainly passing this story around. That much is is true. But the reason why the police can get away with this stuff, especially in this case, is because he's a homeless man. Right. Uh, the police know that they can pick on homeless people, and there's very few people out there who will actually stand up for homeless people and their rights. 
Uh, they know that in a lot of cases, homeless people in any, any given area don't necessarily have any family around. Their their friends are in a lot of cases limited to to other homeless people. These are people who don't have much in the way of resources to defend themselves. Uh, attorneys aren't exactly chomping at the bit to to take homeless people on as as cases because they're not paying very well. So ultimately, the police know they can be bullies to homeless people and that there's very little consequence. Beyond that, even if it wasn't a homeless person, the police know that they can get away with murder simply by making the claim that they were in fear for their life. That's all they have to do is say they were in fear for their life. This man had a knife, allegedly, right. and or they thought he, even if they think that he has a knife, that's reason enough. Even if it turned out that he didn't have a knife uh, in his property at all, they could say that they thought he was lunging for something. It looked like he was pulling a knife. Even if he was pulling his wallet out to get his ID out, it has, as has happened in uh, multiple cases yeah. of people being shot to death by the police. So strange, too, that we, we see so many of the, these situations where this defense is used, but from a very early age, like it's just part of our, part of our culture and part of our indoctrination that we're supposed to view the po- police— as these brave servants. But again and again and again, we see that e- they're cowards. any situation, their life, th- th- them staying alive and mm-hmm. not being hurt is so much more important than the lives or the well-being of anybody they're supposed to be protecting. Katie, I, I fear, I mean, I don't fear, but I share your frustration and, your fr- and I thank you for the call and thanks for sharing your thoughts uh, with us <laughs> tonight. I- uh, thank you again. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. Let's go and continue with your calls and thoughts. We've got David on the line in San Francisco. David, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, greetings. Well, yeah, I'm sure glad she called. Uh, that was that was great you talked about that. Yeah, I hear the music coming up. You want to wait over? Sure. What did you want to talk about tonight, David? Uh, well, this, that, and the other, but uh, I, I don't know how much time we got there because uh, I usually go on for at least 20 minutes, right? <laughs> Well, I don't think we're going to let you go on for that long unless you're really interesting. But uh, hang on. We'll bring you back here in a moment. 855-450-FREE, according to the call screening software, wants to talk about the Middle East. We're on the way. This is Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pillen. I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. 
You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We are here to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. And if we get the chance, we'll continue on with a list of 30 things to stop doing to yourself. Brett predicted we would get through five of them, and it's looking like uh, we may not even get through five. Yeah, I win. (laughs) Closest wins. Yes, yes. I said uh, 10, and I was being very optimistic. But that's okay, because we can take your calls. That is the point of the show, uh, and we will get to them here shortly. Also, want to remind you that Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. If you haven't seen it yet, there's no excuse not to. It's available for free online in its entirety. You can watch the full feature-length documentary, uh, which stars and was directed and produced by our friend Derek J. Freeman. You may know him from Peace News Now, great show that he does. He was your most popular guest on School Sucks. Still is. Yep. So uh, you've seen the movie, I take it. Oh, of course. Absolutely. So uh, Derek J.'s Victimless Crime Spree, you can go watch it tonight at victimlesscrimespree.com. Again, available for free on YouTube. Also available via DVD. You can get the director's cut with something like eight hours of bonus footage two commentary tracks so if you want to listen to just Derek J and his thoughts all by himself there's one commentary track with just him and there's another one with him myself and editor of the movie Bo Davis so go and check it out at victimlesscrimespree.com and if you've already seen Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree because we're coming up on it having been what about a year and a half now since it came out mm-hmm. if you've already seen the movie share it with your friends Post it up on Facebook and uh, recommend it grab the DVD have a, a, a movie watching party or a viewing, if you will. So we encourage that stuff. In fact, there's actually a there's actually a version of the movie that you can download from the website that'll allow you to submit the film to your local public access television station. So if you want to, and there's instructions on kind of how to go about doing that. If you want other people who are not in your immediate circle of friends to see this movie, we don't believe in copyright. So that's one of the things that's important when you submit something to a public access channel. It can't have copyrighted content in it. Right, uh, right. It can't, unless it's your copyright, you know, unless it's yours. So uh, we give you full permission to take this movie and display it in whatever ways uh, you want to. So check it out over at victimlesscrimespree.com. Let's go back to David. He's in San Francisco. You're on Free Talk Live, David. What uh, What's on your mind tonight? Oh, oh yeah, well, thanks. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about some man and God and law. And uh, as you know, those are the three subjects it's recommended you never talk about. But uh when you talk about the Middle East, you have to. And uh, in, I, I think the last time I called, I, I mentioned the Saudi prince Bandar, right? Mm-hmm. I've talked, talked to you about him. Yeah, this guy is still stirring it up. Um, I, I've even seen news stories as recently as a week ago that's claiming that he's out there doing official uh, duties, even though he's officially retired or re- resigned. So, uh, you know, it was an event that happened like three days ago, and it was a pending uh, 
you know, that he was going to cover it. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't understand this. This guy, he goes by, they called him Bandar Bush because he was like a real close friend of Of George uh, Bush. Of George Bush. Um, But in the organized crime, close friend kind of way. Exactly. Well, that's what governments are. When you come to... He goes, well, this guy is more like a saboteur that's been in our midst since 1980, or more like 1978. Saboteur uh, how? Was, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, Jimmy Carter uh, used him uh, to negotiate with the Iranians to get the hostages released, and gosh darn it, Bandar screwed that up, and so we've ended up with this enmity with Iran for 40 years. I mean, this guy has cost America vast amounts of money. He spurred military sales through the roof solely because we never negotiated with Iran. And and these, you know, Bandar in polit in standard press today, there's no doubt that Bandar is trying to get even with the Iranians. And uh, and it, it so he's had it in for the Iranians and cost us for doing it. Thank you. And so Bandar is the guy with Oliver North sneaking the drugs and sneaking the money and sneaking the uh, he, Bandar is BCCI in addition. All right, BCC. And, just so people don't know, you're weapon, you're going a little yeah. you're going a little fast. BCCI is is a bank. It's often implicated in the, a lot of these scandals that are sort of peripheral to U.S. foreign policy. Um, what I'm interested in, so, so what you're saying is this guy is basically his own special interest, or is he working for anybody? Because, you know, when you talk about Jimmy Carter using him to to negotiate the hostage situation in Iran, it was Ronald Reagan who actually finally got the hostages released. And then you mentioned no, Oliver no, North, who was released. also in the Reagan administration or part of the Reagan administration. So is he just like playing all sides against each other? Or how does I, I'm actually interested? Well, because, I wouldn't doubt the last. I wouldn't doubt the very last. The playing all sides because, you know, that's the typical technique of somebody like that. But the the idea that they would do it for uh, more like aristocratic uh, in other words, they're a monarchy. They're not. They don't believe in democracies. They don't believe. They, they would just soon do it because they're a monarchy and they want to get. Who's you know, they? The Saudi America. Saudi Arabia. Saudi government. Okay. Sure. He, this guy's a prince. You know what? Hmm. He, I got your prince. Uh, you know these guys are phonies from the start. They're running around stealing all the tax dollars, using thugs to beat people up, and and that's how they claim to be a king. And, well, what's uh, the difference friends, between that and the United States? I mean, it sounds the same to me. Uh, they well, don't call themselves princes here, but uh, it there's still sounds like the same thing. You, you go around you beating people up sewage? and you get money from them. What do you do with your sewage? Um, what are you talking about? That's your about? government. You pay for your sewage to be removed, right? So Yeah, you, you and I'm honest? sure there would be somebody who would offer that service in the absence of the state. I was talking about like the federal government level. It yeah. seems the same to me. I mean, there's a bunch of goons they have, and they threaten people, and they beat them up and put them in uh, cages if they don't give them money. That's what that's what they do. And why are we well, still dealing with? I mean, that just speaks to like, oh, thank God for government, so our poop goes through pipes filled with water <laughs> like they did in the Roman Empire, uh, and we can travel in our wheeled carts along, uh, you know, flat paved surfaces like they did in the Roman Empire. Uh, you know, I, 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 people always have this this uh, mantra with government. What about the roads? And and you know, one of the things that I say is, what about the road blocks? Uh, the roadblocks well, to innovate. And I'm not talking scam. about police checkpoints, which is also now a reality. I'm talking about roadblocks to innovation, because mm-hmm. when people have monopolies on these so-called services uh, they, and and bureaucracies and special interests form around them, it, it crushes innovation. So, yeah, we're still having poop go through pipes, which is kind of old fashioned. If you ask me, there's probably a better way to deal with that problem and a cleaner way to deal with that problem. So... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not okay, really sold on the difference between the Saudis and, and the American uh, regime, based on okay, plumbing. Back, back to Bandar. Bandar. We, we don't want to deal with that. I think we, we are all right. Uh, I, well, I will say this. I'm. I'm intrigued by your story. I have heard of Prince Bandar, uh, who also goes it? by Bandar Bush, and. I I will learn more. I don't know. Yeah, I've heard enough yeah. about it personally. Yeah, I, I I mean you can talk on and on and on about some thug uh, around the world. There's all kinds of thugs that we well, could talk about. Well, can you about. name the Ukraine? The Ukraine is Bandar. 
The Ukraine is problems with Putin. Ukraine is uh, how the uh, Palestinians have been screwed for the last 40, 60 years. Uh, this is Bandar. This is these people. And you actually had a question there a little while ago. Where, where's his status in the, in the Saudi government? Certain of the commentators uh, in the Middle East, I don't know these people personally, but they uh, allude that most of the Saudi princes, and there's about 70 of them, are fat drunks that do doodly squat. And Bandar is just a go-getter among these thugs and sleepy old drunks. So, you know, you got, uh, uh, but they're with endless amounts of money. Right. And nowadays they're talking about Al-Qaeda actually owns oil wells. Al-Qaeda. You know, and, and so the idea that these guys have screwed things up. Bandar has tricked America into going the wrong way for 40 years worth of taxes. Oh, well, I and, highly doubt uh, you can blame America's problems on one man. But thank you, David, for your call tonight at 855-450 free. It's 855-450-3733. Bandar bad. Yeah, bad. I'll, I mean, I'll learn more. I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued, but I, I think it might be a lot of people listening are probably unfamiliar with that whole uh, you know, I don't doubt persona. the guy's a bad guy. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. in politics. Yeah, they're all bad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 855 450 free. You can take control in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, which are imminent. You can also join us on Skype at username lrn.fm. We'll get your thoughts in here next on Free Talk Live. Everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at BitcoinGeneralStore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything, with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and to truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. I'm a very bad man, and today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths, or visit doordevil.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything in these remaining moments. Maybe we could sneak your call in if you made it now at 855-450 free. But of course, as things tend to go on Free Talk Live, the phones have gotten busier as the night has gone on here. And uh, we've got a few calls on hold. So if you're on the line, we will do our best to get to you. And you can join us on Skype at username lrn.fm. With you tonight, Ian here. And Brett. Don't forget to check out more of Brett on his website, School Sucks Project. Dot com. As we go back to the phones and to the fun, let's go and start with Robert in Vermont. You're on Free Talk Live, Robert. Hey, how are you, gentlemen? Hey, Robert, what's on your mind tonight? Yeah, I'm really kind of disappointed that they didn't pass a bill over in New Hampshire today with uh, the marijuana. And yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm I'm also disappointed that uh, that New Hampshire is kind of behind the ball as far as the so-called live for your die state. Uh, it's you know behind the ball on marijuana reform. It's 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 worse off than all the rest of the New England states. And there's a lot of work that needs to be done. New Hampshire may be the freest of all the 50 states, but there's still a lot of ways that it's not free. And that's why the Free State Project is so important. And that's why we need more people to make the move here who love the ideas of freedom because. This is not going to be uh, a cakewalk. This is not an easy road to get to uh, to freedom. There's a lot of people who love the state uh, who will be standing in our way and making it very difficult. Well, I thought about it, and, and uh, I pondered on it for a while. And, and, you know, I'm thinking, you know, if I go out and I get drunk, okay, I'm going to get the same kind of effect, head effect, as if I would if I was going to get high with bare water, true? I'd say it's a more serious effect if you're drunk. Yeah, it's more, more and, and, and in the long term, uh, more dangerous to to your health, for sure. I, I mean, not that, not that I, I don't want to say that marijuana is consequence-free always and forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I've seen the effects of alcohol on people. Uh, and even on myself, and it's not good. And you can look at statistics and match them against uh, pot statistics, and it's it's a huge difference. People um, get they're more likely to get in fights. They're more likely to do something they're going to regret. Yeah, something stupid. Yeah, uh, get get themselves hurt. There's all kinds of uh, things that happen that are very very bad. Get sick, alcohol poisoning. Yeah, you really can't poison yourself with uh, marijuana unless it's moldy in which case then it's the mold not the marijuana and uh and mar- moldy marijuana is more of a, a byproduct of the black market than it is Indeed. the uh the fact that you know it's cannabis cannabis if it's treated right and stored properly will not grow go to mold yeah and one drug is basically a violence drug it doesn't mean it always results in violence but you're much more prone to violence on alcohol and marijuana mm. is more of a, a relaxing Kind of. Uh, I mean, anybody experience. that's had experience with both of the drugs can know they know this stuff, and yeah, even many yeah. police know this. If you talk to an honest cop, he'll tell you that if he's ever arrested a marijuana user, that they probably haven't really been uh, striking out and lashing out. They haven't probably had to break up a fight between two marijuana users at a club, unlike every Friday and Saturday night, where they're likely being called to fights between drunks at uh, various different clubs and things like that. Sure. Robert, any other thoughts you want to share? Yeah, well, I mean, 
and that leads me to then then why is marijuana a scheduled drug then? That's an excellent question. It's a long story. Yeah, so the short version is marijuana was made illegal in the 1930s uh, because there were certain companies like DuPont uh, that wanted to outlaw competition. The the, the newspaper man at the time, uh, William Randolph Hearst, wanted to outlaw hemp because it was competitive with the, the forests that he owned, yep. had an interest in. So it was really more of a protectionist racket than anything else up front, but they came up with all these uh, these claims about the drug that they used to demonize it to make it seem bad. The Reefer Madness is kind of the classic example, the, the movie of uh, the insane lies that were being told about cannabis. And so from there, you, of course, had the escalation of the war on drugs under Richard Nixon, I believe it was, in the late 60s. Late 60s, and what what Nixon uh, believed, or maybe not Nixon directly, but people who were advising him on the issue, one of the things that they believed was that uh, some of these drugs like marijuana and even some hallucinogens like LSD and mushrooms were... Uh, causing people to question some of the norms and some of the, you know, the the culture mm-hmm. and, you know, of course, war, <laughs> stuff like that. It was very inconvenient for them. So they, they ramped up the war on drugs because uh, drugs were really tied to the peace movement. And they thought it might have been fueling um, people's, uh, you know, passion for um being anti-war. Yeah, good excuse to arrest some hippies. Thanks, Robert, for your call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. Let's continue and go to Wit. Wit is in Paradise Valley. I think that's Arizona. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, I believe in free minds and free markets are two sides of the same coin, in God I trust. And I believe totalitarians wish out loud that people that agree with them... Uh, don't agree with them should never ever have the right to speak or be confronted whereas the libertarian hello hello something went really wrong with wit's phone line there i'm not sure what it was but maybe we'll get him back here in a moment nathan is on the line in skype you're on free talk live nathan in texas i actually met a homeless guy today and uh I think an interesting thing about this this topic is uh, it's a saying I heard, and I don't remember who said it, but it's uh, look at what the powerful do and how they treat people who are indigent, homeless, and uh, or, or immigrants. And you'll see that's how they would like to treat you, but are afraid to for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You, you could say this. You could scale that up to countries without nuclear weapons. You know, they I'm sorry? I said you could scale that up from individuals, right? When you're talking about how the powerful treat people, you could scale that up to say, um, you know, how do they wage war in countries that don't have nuclear weapons, in countries that are unable to defend, uh, a country that's unable to defend itself, you know, yeah, like Iraq or Afghanistan war. or Vietnam or Panama. The same way they don't mess with the rich people very often when it comes to enforcing the government laws. They're more than happy to pick on uh, homeless people and poor poor blacks, poor whites, poor Hispanics. But as you move up the economic uh, classes, you are more likely to have attorneys. You may be more likely to know your rights. Yeah. And so they don't pick on you – know, they're bullies. They don't pick on the uh, the tough marks. Right, right. Nathan, you could also think- say the same thing about history. Uh, and I, this, I find this interesting because some people discount history and say it doesn't matter. But, you know, it, it seems to me like it does matter. Oh, the absolutely. The federal government – was willing to confiscate gold in the 1930s, doesn't that mean they might be willing to do it now? They were willing to they... lock up uh, Japanese Americans and I think German Americans as well in the, the 1940s, was it? Yeah, was they, yeah, they were willing to kill uh, like 100,000 plus civilians with uh, atomic weapons. So, yeah, they're bad. They've done it before. They can certainly do it again. Nathan, thanks for your call and thoughts here tonight. Let's go to the uh, phone lines unscreened caller. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, it's Jay Noon. Jay, calling from Massachusetts. Hi, what's, Jay. What's on your mind tonight? I'm actually up in Syracuse uh, right now. I was just uh, watching Ron Paul speak. Oh. And... There was a bunch of people passing out free stater stuff up there. Excellent. So I, I got some, and I went and passed out a bunch of stuff, and I got on the local news channel up here, Syracuse Channel 9, and I was able to plug the Free State Project a little bit and uh, talk about liberty and, you know, 
why I was up here to see Ron Paul and stuff. Fantastic. And How many people were a, at this event? Where was Ron Paul speaking? Syracuse University, and it was sold out. I think they said 1,150 people with the capacity hmm. of a little building. That's incredible. So, and would you say the, uh, I mean, what was the crowd? Was it mostly young people because it was a university, or was it a good mix? Yeah, it was young people, and it was put on by the the young Republican, Syracuse young Republican something or another. Great. Uh, I am so excited yeah. to know that, uh, that the people behind the Free State, the people involved in the Free State Project were there handing stuff out. That's so important. And it, Ron Paul would be a great person to just kind of follow around and do a tour, do like an outreach tour of the Free State Project. Just yeah. go yeah. everywhere Ron Paul goes and hand out Free State Project information to people. They did get a couple signers. I don't know how many. And there was a lot of interest in the Free State Project. A lot of people, there was probably about 40% of the people that came through were actually interested in it, like really like wanted to check it out, and you know, a lot of the other just kind of kept going. Especially but in I a place like New York. <laughs> it just yeah. keeps getting worse there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, if only 1% of Ron Paul's fans would join the Free State Project and move this year, we would be very, very much closer to being a whole lot more free. Absolutely. Oh, I don't yeah. think 1% is an unreasonable goal. No, I, I think you're right. Hey, Jay, thanks for the update. I appreciate your call tonight. We're out of time, but we'll be back tomorrow. You can join us online. In the meantime, at freetalklive.com. Join Brett on his website at schoolsucksproject.com. See you tomorrow at 7 o'clock at night Eastern time. In the meantime, you'll hear us repeating for the next 21 hours on our live streams at freetalklive.com. Enjoy. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Imagine for a moment. A radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Cop Block Radio is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Gold open today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush, online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494, or apply online at calldorothy.com, NMLS 216-624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 
in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my government. Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give otherwise. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. Find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond-buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond-buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. 